Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! I'm not gonna lie. It, it, it kind of feels weird streaming this early. I, I, I'm glad there's a lot of new people here. I can already see all the first time chatters. But I'm not gonna lie, it does feel kind of weird. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. We got a Thirsty Thursday. Other than the time, this is gonna be a very normal um, Thirsty Thursday stream. We're experimenting. And by we, I mean the stream manager who's on the verge of being fired uh, and my wife and kids. We're just trying to mix things up a little bit, you know, make the streams not last until midnight every single night. Um, and I feel a little bit less pressure to get these done. So that's pretty much the only change. Oh, and the other change, of course, is instead of drinking a beer. So here, here's a really quick update. I know you guys are here for the PC build. It was not food poisoning. I w I've been sick. My stomach has been sick since Monday of last week. We are almost at two weeks now. Um, and I thought it was food poisoning at first, like very typical food poisoning. Was on the verge of throwing up all night, you know, stomach pain for the next few days. But this mother effing pain just doesn't go away. And uh, then my kids start getting it. And I'm like, oh my God, it's not food poisoning. It's something else. And... We held them out of school one day because their stomachs were upset. And then the school's like, oh, yeah, four teachers called off sick because of the stomach virus. I'm like, oh, my God. So it's a stomach virus. Um, so that's why we're drinking kombucha. I actually bought beer today because I'm like, it's going to be a game time decision. Maybe I'll drink a beer, suck it up, thirsty Thursday. Maybe I'll do be healthy, do the kombucha. But the health won out today. Um Kind of considering it a little bit of a defeat, but the health won out. No beer? Yeah. I really want a beer. I really want a beer bad. <laughs> I legitimately, like, not that I'm addicted, but I really do miss the taste of beer. I really miss it. I'm drinking water. Alcohol exact. I just love beer. I don't, if I could, if I could drink good beer and it's not alcoholic, I would. I just genuinely enjoy beer trying new beers and whatnot not like it's not like i'm drinking chugging miller lights or anything akira with the fit a bit is welcome to fit a bit committee says take care of the gut i know gut health i've been drinking a kombucha every day we got the pro buys on deck um 
eaten not spicy food, you know, simple to digest food for the last two weeks. Been trying to take it easy. PC Attic with 100 biddies. That'll get you in the fitted bitty committee. Says, sorry, I'm late. Not used to the early stream. Recently came into a lot of biddies, so I'm using them to join the double fitted bitty committee. Love to hear that. Clove with the tier one sub. Thank you very much. Finn McAuley with the tier one sub. Thank you very much. Oh my God, I'm way out of order here. All right, let's start from the bottom now. Mark with the tier two resub, come back for 46 months now. Says $6 months, baby, let's go. Are subs on sale right now on Twitch? <clears throat> it's like 4 a.m. here. D does the early start time, okay. No matter how it affects you, let me know on Twitch or and YouTube actually. Let me know how this early time affects you. Better, worse. This is the only reason that you're able to watch it. Let me know. What's your feedback on the time? I got to know what the people want. Mark also with the Fittibitty. Says Fittibitty Committee. Let's go. Uh, Staff Sergeant Maggot come back for t the Tier 1 resub. Come back for two months now. Numpty now come back for six months. Now rocking the gold ZTT badge. Let's go. Numpty with the double Fittibitty. Says train ride evening. Yeah, there's a hype train before we even started today. 9 a.m. for me, so that's good. I can't watch after 1 a.m. That's not helpful because I don't know what time it is in your time. <laughs> 7 p.m. It doesn't matter to me, says the devil. That's good to know. I feel like most people, I mean, it's, it's only an hour and a half change. Much better, says Common Flamingo. There definitely is a lot of new people. When the stream first started, there were a ton of first-time Know your chat. role and shut your mouth because the people champ is ready to talk. All right, monkey with the machine gun. I'll shut up. What do you have to say? Start time has no effect at all. Okay, good to know. Thank you. <laughs> With the 1,000 minis. Oh, my God. Monkey, thank you. Thank you for the, the feedback on the time as well. Much appreciated. This is good for me, Seven. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to experiment. I am definitely not committing to this um, long term. Uh, my wife just offered this yesterday evening, actually. And I was like, at first, I didn't love it. But then I was like, actually, the more I think about it, I think that this could be a huge hit. Um, the thing that sucks is my, my kids aren't asleep yet, so I'm missing bath time um, and bedtime, putting the kids down for bed, which, you know, a break every now and then isn't the worst thing in the world, um, but I do like doing that with them every night, so we are missing that, um, and she has to do it by herself now, so a little bit of a trade-off here, um, but yeah, my night isn't completely shot, because hopefully we'll be done around 10 or so in the next three hours hopefully we can build a pc uh but yeah we'll see how it goes i'll go dx spark with the twitch prime sub thank you very much star volleyball with the twitch prime sub thank you okay and his name is akira i got that pc addict i got it shauna with the tier one resub come back for 43 months says 43 months is crazy it is indeed crazy uh thank you and mark i already got you lord lingo with the twitch prime sub thank you very much when do your giveaways end? All right, here's the cheat sheet. Get ready to screenshot right now. If you're on iOS, press and hold the lock button and the volume up button, right? Yep, that's what does it. Get ready for that. If you're on Windows, get ready to- and shut your mouth because the people's champ is ready to talk. Mark with the 1,000 biddies. Oh my God. Go for it, Mark. Hit it. Super excited. My girlfriend just passed her final exam to become a nurse. Wow, congrats to her. I see you're already spending her money. Nice. Touche, let's go. Yeah, tell her congrats. That's what's awesome. Or that's what's up. Uh, thank you very much for the 1,000 biddies. Maybe I should thank her. Uh, Skyborn Simulations with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. What was I about to say before Mark rudely interrupted me? Hmm... I feel like I was about to say something like extremely important, like probably valuable. Oh, the giveaway. Oh, we're, oh well, we're not going to do. I'll explain the giveaway after the ad break because you guys are about to watch some ads. Sorry. And just remember, if you guys are on Twitch watching these ads, you are literally the people that fund this live stream and make this live stream possible. So thank you very much for watching those ads. I appreciate it. Shout out to all the people who are not watching ads right now and everybody else is though. <laughs> Suckers. I hope he teaches us how to build a PC while building it with tips. What's the, um, everyone's on ads. I can't ask that. Ah, oh, man, we're so limited by people on ads. Are you guys watching ads or no? 
Can I, no ads? Just the tips? Oh, just the tips. No, no PZ building, just tips? We could do just tips. No, no. Why did it tell me I was going to do an ad break? Maybe one of the mods stopped it. Okay, nobody has ads. Okay, all right. <laughs> Get ready to screenshot first off. Here's the cheat sheet for the giveaway. We're only going to do this once, okay? Well, here's a PC we're giving away just so everybody knows. Yes, it's a worldwide giveaway. I'm about to explain how it works. Boom, here's the cheat sheet. Yes, we are always running a worldwide giveaway during the live streams, but you can only win if you're watching on Twitch. Sorry, people on YouTube. You can come over to Twitch if you want. Um, how to win. Watch the stream on Twitch. Step number one. Step numero dos. Go to zaxtechdrift.com slash giveaway or just type exclamation point giveaway. Make sure you connect your Twitch account and then you'll automatically start earning points. Oh my god, now we're on ads. <laughs> Ad break in progress. <laughs> Purchase raffle tickets with the points you earn. And then the more tickets you have, the higher chances you have at winning. Ads now. <laughs> That's hilarious. I tried. I tried. <laughs> I did my best. People on YouTube aren't watching ads. Fire Medic joining us with the fit of it. He says, something like I bought a laser engraver currently making some cups and coasters. You know my P.O. box. Thank you for the fit of bitties. Let me know when you ship it. Por favor. I'll be waiting. No ads. L ads. Thank you. If you're watching ads, much appreciated. But yeah, so we're always running the giveaway. Um, This one will be the April to May giveaway per usual. So we'll run the giveaway um, for the remainder of this month. And then we'll give it away sometime, probably in early May or so. Um, we just gave away, actually Numpty, who's here. Numpty is the winner of the previous giveaway that we just announced last or two weeks ago. And he won. He confirmed it and everything. But then he went on vacation right after he won. And he said, can you hold off on shipping the PC for two weeks? I'm like, <laughs> debated about re-rolling, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. We'll wait the two weeks. I'll leave it. I'll leave this big, huge box with a beautiful PC and it just sit there collecting dust, taking up my inventory space for Dumpty. I'll do that for you. I got you. PC Attic with the fit of it is. Says my sub anniversary is tomorrow, so I will let you know now. Tomorrow will be my eight month anniversary with an eight month streak. And I'm obviously ad free, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you for your support, PC Attic. Much appreciated. Uh, Dahlia Dag with the $20 dono. Oh my God. Me and my son building his PC. It was so flawless and he learned it. Shout out to Ivan. Who the f... Ivan? Who... Who's Ivan? Do... Hello? Do... Do I need to know who Ivan is? Congrats on the PC. I'm proud of you and your son. Who is Ivan though? My son. Oh, got it. <laughs> Shout out to Ivan. Oh my god. My fault, Ivan. Shout out to you. <laughs> Finally, I'm free from the ads. Thank you for watching them. I appreciate it. Spar with the 100 biddies. Much appreciated. Let's go. Okay. So yeah, this is, now that you guys are done watching ads, this is what the, the giveaway website looks like, as I'm sure most of you have probably seen. 535 people are entered so far, 1,200 tickets, boom. Shows you over here how many points you got. 100 points per ticket, just buy as many tickets as you can. The more tickets you have, the higher chances you have at winning. But, all it takes is one ticket. I it, it, I don't I don't know if Numpty is still here. Numpty, if you're still here, how many tickets did you have when you won last time? The first two winners had single digit tickets. I don't know how many Numpty had. I forgot to look at that. First time seeing your stream after you mentioned it in your channel? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of new people here. Thanks for stopping by. We're about to build this PC. Does a 12.6 does a 12600 KF work with a 7700 XC or 7800 XC? Why would it not? Yeah, it works perfectly. It's a great combination. Why would that not? This isn't fair. I say you just give me the PC. That's that. That actually sounds more fair. Yeah, I agree. Right? I think that sounds the most fair. Just give it to whoever asked. 
What do you guys think? Painful with 100 bitties says, why so early? Painful. You're too late, man. We already did the full explanation. You are way too late. I appreciate the 100 bitties. You're in the double fit a bitty committee, gang. But, dude, I already explained that a long time ago, man. Well, I mean, I mean, we've been live for 19 minutes. What are, you, what are you doing? Where were you? Why so late? Should be the question. Seven ads. Twitch is learning a lot. Of, no, well, what we do is we have, as streamers, we now have control of the frequency of ads. I mean, we can't just turn it off. Uh, well, actually, we could just turn it off, but we can't just tune it down. Um, but instead of, by default, Twitch runs ads, like minute and a half ads, every 18 minutes. That's the default for Twitch partners now. But we can tune it to be slightly longer two to two and a half minute ads, but we only have to take it once every 30 minutes, which is two minutes every 30 minutes. Dude, we can deal with that, man. And especially since I, I wait for you guys, I try not to say anything important during the ads. That ain't a big deal at all, man. Yeah, well, just once every 30 minutes. Uh, Stangu with the 17 month resub. Thank you very much. Says it's been a while. Great to be back. Yeah, I didn't know that you were gone. I, I feel like I've been reading Stangu for three years now. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you very much, Stangu. I mean, that's that, I even that's even like the normal way that I improperly announce your name. Uh, Painful with the 39 month tier two resub says 39 39 months straight. Bad to be 40. It's five here, aka supper time. Yeah, sorry about that. Just put. Put it up on the TV. Get them giveaway points going. Vasily with the Twitch Prime sub. First ever month. Thank you. Yo, Zach, the premium ZTT looks fire. I may buy it. The premium ZTT? What's a premium ZTT? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? Premium ZTT? The Discord exclusives? Dude, I don't know. What are you talking about? Oh, the shirt. Oh, wow, the shirt is called the Premium. Wow, I actually forgot about that. Yeah, wow, I named that the Premium ZTT shirt, didn't I? <laughs> nice. What are you building today? All right, let's go. So, this is... Are you guys ready to build a PC? Or should I keep yapping? What do you guys think? Hold on, hold on. We got, that's way too many text messages. Oh, they're all from Newegg. <laughs> okay, got it. Um, oh, keep yapping? Oh, wow, that's actually, wow, that's actually kind of split 50-50. Interesting. <laughs> the people that are using all caps are the ones saying build it. <laughs> and his name is John Cena. Sario with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. And yes, I am reading YouTube chat. Don't worry. I don't think I missed anything much. No build, please. No build at all? No, we're definitely building. We're definitely building. In his video, are the voice lagging a little bit? I don't know. You tell me. It shouldn't be. I mean, we've been running these streams for a while. Use a poll? No, we're going to build. I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't want to yap. All right. So, this is actually uh, another consulting build. We did one maybe four weeks ago or so on the live stream. This is another consulting build. So, I mean, we... Before I start building, we might as well keep shilling, right? I mean, I got to show you. You just go to zttthelp.com over here, right? Boom. Hold on. Where are we at? Where's my... Boom. zttthelp.com. You guys know where it is. We got all these consulting... Actually, the consulting prices went up. Don't look at them. They're pretty expensive. Um, one of the packages is... I'll design you a tailored custom parts list. We'll order and assemble the PC. We'll stress test and configure and benchmark the PC. Then we'll create some content about the PC, send you some high quality photos, and then we will ship the PC to you. This is another one of those orders. These are actually really exciting because I get to build something out of the ordinary. So this build is for, I probably shouldn't say his name. Um, it's actually not a pure gaming PC. He is a day trader, like stock market trading, I would assuming, if that's what he means by I need a trading PC. That's what, at least how I took it. And he specifically said that he needed a 7950X. <laughs> this is a $600 CPU. What the f I, I have never touched 
a $600 CPU. Oh, hold on, actually. I gotta, I gotta roll these cameras because we're creating a vertical video out of these. All right, hold on. One. I don't know what recording this is gonna do. This is the first time we've actually recorded during the stream. So if cameras go out, we will fix them. Don't worry. Okay. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, he said that he needed a 600... Something just stopped recording. Oh. <laughs> okay, that one's not going to work. <laughs> it's just shut off right away. Screw you too, man. Okay. I guess I guess we won't. I guess we John won't do that. Cena. The devil with the tier one resub. Come back for two months now. Thank you very much. Also, Scuba Steve with the tier one sub. Let's go. Much appreciated. Check out this camera angle. Look, we got it on deck. Boom. The 7600X. 7950X, sorry. 7950X. He said, I mean, this dude sounds like he's got a lot of money. Clearly, if he's buying a consulting order. He needed a really fast CPU. 7950X. We'll make it happen. For the motherboard. We got the MSI Mag X670E Tomahawk. Wi-Fi. Pretty high-end board. Or pretty... I mean, it's a high, it's it's like a mid-range high-end board. Try not to uh, go too overboard with this. Definitely good enough for a 7950X. Um, it's got everything we need in here. Two and a half gig LAN, you know, not too shabby. Wi-Fi 6E, who cares? It's a motherboard. We're good to go. All right, that's what we're building with there for the SSD. We got a two terabyte P3 Plus, just a standard... Um, Gen 4 NVMe. I think it's a moderately rated Gen 4 NVMe. Pretty good stuff. Again, didn't want to go super overboard. Cooling, I've never used this before. This is a super popular option, but I've never used it before. Cooling our CPU is the Peerless Assassin 120 Black. This is a very popular dual tower CPU cooler. Um, we didn't want to go water cooling for this build. Just wanted to keep it super simple and streamlined. So this is... Honestly, a top tier option that doesn't break the, the bank um, for an air cooler. So I've, I've always wanted to use it. And I thought that this all black build would be a perfect opportunity to do that. So we got that for our RAM. We just got 32 gigs DDR5. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, this is a 2 by 16 gigabyte kit clocked at 6,000 megahertz. And I think the CL rating is 32. Pretty good stuff. Rip Jaws S5. And then for our power supply, we got the... Oh, that didn't work. The MSI Mag A750 GL PCIe 5 ATX 3.0 compatible power supply. Uh, this is either tier A or tier B. I, I, I want to say it's tier B. Either way, it's definitely good enough for this build. Um, we got that. And then for the graphics card... I would ask you to guess, but you'll never guess what it is because, like I said, it's not a pure gaming PC. He needs it to be a trading PC, but then also do a little bit of gaming on the side. We're, we didn't need to go 7900 XTX. We didn't need to go 4090. Just something modest. A modest 1440p GPU. The problem is... Don't tell me it's integrated. No, 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 no. It's still a 1440p GPU. Don't worry. No, the, the only problem is... It, it's up on my front porch right now. <laughs> so whenever I take a bathroom break, I'll go get it. <laughs> Newegg literally just dropped it off. So we're, we don't need it just yet, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it once we get it. It's just it's just on the front porch. <laughs> I don't think I've seen... Okay, yeah, I do see... Somebody got it right. Oh, wow, a couple people got it right. I talk about the GPU often. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty good choice. All right, let's see how this looks here. We'll open up our motherboard. Boom. Start building this thing, shall we? 7900 GRE. I wish. I actually just bought my first GRE yesterday. I am very, very excited for it. I am making... Actually, I'm... Ex oh, wow. Look at this sticker pack. Oh, hold hold, hold the phone. We got to look at this. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, this is a pretty fancy sticker pack. Not as clean as the ZTD stickers, but... I mean, that's pretty good. Right? These are all stickers. It, 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 these are even stickers for your cable. Oh my god. These are stickers for your cables. That's pretty crazy. 
Look at that. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm not used to this camera angle. We're gonna have to figure this out. Not too bad. That's pretty, I mean, I'm definitely not using them. Don't get, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm definitely not using these. Uh, but that's so cool that it includes that. Painful for the Fitty Bitty says, last message. Sorry, I sent it at a bad time. Painful for the Fitty Bitty says, okay, so I know we spoke about the GPU deals I sent you, but did you see the ping I sent you in mod chat for a $300 7800X3D? I did, but I'm not buying a, a 7800X3D from AliExpress. Like, that is a good deal. That's $80 cheaper than what you can buy new. For, if you guys aren't tracking the conversation, 7900 or 7800X3D are on AliExpress for $300. But if you're buying a 7800X3D build, you better get that thing from Amazon or Newegg, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I advocate for AliExpress often, but even I have my limits. I'm not buying a $300 CPU. What if it, what if it's just genuinely bad? Like, what if it what if it genuinely doesn't work? Not because AliExpress is a, a scam, but what if it just doesn't work? Like, you get unlucky. I, I don't want to go through the return process on AliExpress. Yeah, it's a good it's a good deal for sure, but I, I I don't recommend I don't recommend that high end of hardware on AliExpress. How do you guys feel about that, Zach? What games you play? I'm actually in a huge racing phase right now. I've been destroy. Oh, when I say destroying, I mean I'm roughly averaging about 20 minutes a day. Uh, but I am playing a lot of Need for Speed Unbound and Forza Motorsport. I'm in a big racing phase right now. First time chatter phase says best tech tuber. Thank you. Racing Sim. And his name is John C. I dabbled. I dabbled a little bit. I kind of have, um, you guys will hear it here first. I kind of have a small ambition to create some sim racing content, like budget sim racing content, in an effort to get companies to send me a full racing sim setup. Because <laughs> there are some racing sims, like pure, like real racing sim companies, um, that have sent creators with a much smaller following, like full setups, and I'm like. Maybe we dabble. <laughs> Maybe we dabble. I have a I have a Logitech G27, an actual sim racing rig. Granted, it's belt driven and it's from like 15 years ago, uh, but it still actually has real force feedback to it. Um, and I have the the six speed shifter for it and the clutch pedal. I mean, it, it's a nice setup. It's just really old. So I was thinking about making just like. I have a feeling if I make like one or two videos about it, then I'll, I'll get the emails and, and be able to set it up because I made one OLED monitor video and it, I didn't even have an OLED monitor. Uh, it was just a news piece about L OLED monitors, which are minimum like $680 right now. And I have four of them now. Four companies saw that video and they were like, "Hey, do you want no LED monitor? Make a video. Send them over." So uh, get 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 ready for some O LED monitor content and possibly sim racing content. <laughs> we shall see. Blocky with the seven Canadian says, "Love the content, Zach. As a creator, thirteen seven hundred K plus a forty seventy good for editing plus gaming. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. You should rate my build too. Never owned a PC. No, I I would as a creator." Um, especially if you're editing in Premiere and if you think you're going to live stream, I'm still all about uh, Intel and NVIDIA for that situation. Can't wait to see this build, to be honest. Yeah, it's going to look super clean. All black. Um, but now we have to do the scary part. And that is installing a... S How much did I pay for this? $660 CPU. What the... What's the most expensive CPU? you guys have ever installed what's the most expensive cpu that you've ever installed because <laughs> this is definitely it for me right here <laughs> 660 dollars oh my god i don't even know how to open this i don't know how to deal with ryzen nines this is not my wheelhouse man this is some <laughs> scary stuff i'm shaking 380 10 700k 80 bucks 20 dollars i'm insane threadripper nice 
1700X3D. Yeah, I've done... I've done two 1700X3Ds, I think. Right? I think it was two. It's definitely one. I think it was two. I can't remember. Actually, I can't remember either one of them, but I definitely remember that I did one. How does the winner of the, the giveaway receive the PC? Um... Um, a shipping company. Does that make sense? When I say that. A shipping company. They, they will send it. Um, if you live in Pittsburgh, I'll drive it to you. It, actually, actually I scratch that. that. That's too big of a commitment. If the giveaway winner happens to live on the south side of Pittsburgh. Never mind. That, that's still. Yeah. Yeah. So on the south side of Pittsburgh, I'll drive it to you. Okay. Other than that. We use shipping companies. This, are we all tracking on that one? How will you contact us? With a DM on Twitch. Hopefully you're at the stream. Whenever we announce it. Okay. Should I do this? Good thing I'm not drinking for this one, man. Dude, I don't even know how to pull this up. This is $600! If I win, can we meet at your place? Don't be weird. Reroll? We did reroll. We rerolled last week. Or two weeks ago. Yeah, we had to reroll last week. That was the... F I mean, I mean, we've been running giveaways for a long time. Not just these streaming giveaways. We, we've been running the, some sort of giveaway. Actually, I shouldn't say it like that because I am not a big giveaway person. Here, let's... Can we do this camera angle? Oh. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Nah, nah, that's not doing it for me. We gotta, we gotta do this one. I'll zoom in here. So you guys can see the 600, 600 mother effing dollar CPU go in here. Okay. There we go. Normally watch on YouTube. I guess I'll start watching on Twitch. Twitch is where we build. Or Twitch is, sorry, Twitch is where you can, um, get the giveaways. Okay. $600 CPU. Jesus. I do not like this at all. All right, she's in. She's in. Damn it, that was probably a little too zoomed in. There we go. All right, that that six hundred dollars CPU is in. Now let's crunch down on it like we're gonna break it. Oh, oh, that hurts. All right, that part's done. His name is John Cena. How'd we do? The Devils with 100 biddies. Thank you very much. Uh, Aheen96 with the tier ones up. Thank you very much. Painful with the fitted biddies says, when on the other camera, your audio... Oh, your... Oh, and good call. Thank you. Your audio is echoing. Sorry. All right, I'll fix that right now. My bad. John C. All right, thank you, Painful. Are we good now? Good to go on the Eket. Uh, Ribs gifting out a tier one sub. Let's go. Thank you. Uh, Saad Habib with the tier two resub. Come back for three months now. Not just the tier two sub, but also rocking the now silver badge. Thank you very much for the help, for the appreciate, for, oh my God, for the support. Much appreciated. Where's the beer? We're battling stomach virus. We're drinking some kombucha today. Let's go Celtics. I just watched the Celtics. I just watched the Celtics uh, two nights ago in the historic game. For the first time, I think, ever, they didn't shoot a single free throw shot. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, I watched that. Are they playing tonight? We're almost in. We're almost here in uh, NBA playoff season. That's when I, that's when I really start watching... Uh, NBA. I don't watch a ton of basketball during the regular season, but once the NBA playoffs start rolling around, I'm dialed in. Yeah, for sure. W Celtics. Luca's the clear MVP, but the media hates him. Yeah, I saw some like media hit pieces. 
Oops. And his name is the other day. Um, about Luca. All right, who needs some tips? I mean, do we really need tips for the Ram? You just line up that slot. Sometimes you'll see that the slot does not line up. So what do you do? You just reverse it. <laughs> Ain't no big thing. That, that camera's not even focused, is, is it? That camera's not really working for me. Yeah, not really getting the job done. I, uh, maybe I should... Let, let's try turning that bad boy to autofocus. Real quick. Because it's going to be moving a lot. We're trying something new today. Alright. Go to auto. There we go. Let's we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> Why do you use the second and fourth slots for the RAM? Because if you have your motherboard manual will tell you this. Hold on, let me see how those look. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Here, let's let's reinstall the <laughs> these RAM shots just so we have that clip uh, in focus. Um, whenever you have one, two, or I get yeah, just one or two sticks of RAM, your motherboard will tell you which slots to put it in. And right now, the standard is just to put it in two and four. So just do that. You don't have to experiment. Um, if you have one, that's to get the dual, yeah, the dual channel. Um, to, if, if you, I said, it's been so long, but if you have one, I think you just put that on the left side. Am I right on that? I should have full confidence in that, but it's been so long since I've ever, ever done one stick. I believe when you just have one, you put it on the far left, right? Why does that sound weird? All right, where's my SSD? The motherboard looks bent. And his name is John C. Does it? Don't look bent to me. Looks pretty clean to me. Actually, it does look a little bent. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Slightly warped. One is second one from the left? Is that right? Board is straight. Your dick looks bent. Dude, Mark, come on, man. You know I can't read and filter. You make me you can't make me say stuff like that out loud, bro. Come on, Mark. I don't I, I don't have the ability to filter that. Oh my god, that's a lot of gifted subs. Sharp gifting out five tier one gifted subs. WTF. And then Ribs was like, okay. I'll match your five with another five gifted subs. And then Glam Freddy comes in and be like, I got two. Twelve gifted subs right there. Not to include the one previously from Rivs. Oh my god, 13 gifted subs. Wow, thank you very much. That's big time. Guys, if you got a gifted sub, please say thank you to whoever gifted it to you. And his name is John C. That's what's up. Rivs gifting out another tier one sub. Uh, Gra Grave with the 100 bitty says, I'm rocking a B450 with a 3500X. Is a 5700X a good upgrade or do you recommend something else? From a 3500X? A 5700X is fine, yes. I mean, at that point, I would. It depends on your budget, of course. But when you have a 3500X, which is a pretty decent budget CPU, you're realistically only going to make one more AM4 upgrade. So I would consider going with an X3D, you know, just to get the full, the full value out of your, your, um, your B450 motherboard, you know, maybe stretch up to an X3D, 5700 X3D, maybe a 5800 X3D, depending on how good your B450 is, you know, but I mean, a 5700 is fine. All right, we need a screwdriver. Actually, I think we got the right one. Yeah, thank you very much for all those gifted subs. Sorry I didn't say anything right away. All right, we're going to install our SSD here. Boom. Oh, that's like a nice. That looks really nice. We got the double-sided heat tape over here. That's what you get with these higher end motherboards, man. Not too shabby. 
What CPU is it? We have a Ryzen 9 7950X. Pretty top tier. This is for a consulting build. This person is a trader, like a stock day trader. And he wanted as much CPU horsepower as possible. And if memory serves correctly, I'm pretty sure that he specifically requested the 7950X, but I can't really remember. All right. SSD going in here. I'm going to flip this over one way or another to lock that in. And then we're going to reinstall our heat spreader. Boom. Just a Gen 4 drive, so it's not like we have any um, overheating issues. But this will keep it very nice and cool. Boom, just like that. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Doc with the Fitty Bitty says, How are you liking the new Corsair keyboards? Let me in the committee. Welcome to the Fitty Bitty Committee, Doc. How am I liking the new Corsair? Know your role and shut your mouth because the people's champ is ready to talk. Sorry, Doc. <laughs> you got outbid on that one. Dahlia with the 1000 biddies. Are you using the scented thermal paste and yum? <laughs> It was sold out, unfortunately. <laughs> as much as I memed on the thermal paste that's scented, uh, it was sold out when I tried to buy it. Otherwise, I would have. <laughs> yes. I definitely would like to make a video with the scented thermal paste. Um, I don't know how long that will be out of stock for. I can't imagine long. Like, after the meme fades away, hopefully it comes back into stock. Thank you for the 1,000 biddies, Dolly. I much appreciate it. How am I liking the new Corsair keyboards, though? Uh, which one's this? I forget. This is the one I'm daily driving still. This is the Corsair K65 wireless. I really like this thing, man. I really, really like it. Um, it has a little bit of, like, quirkiness to it, at least so far. Uh, it, it, it feels like the quirkiness will eventually go away with, like, a couple IQ updates or maybe some firmware updates or whatnot. But... I specifically have a little bit of quirkiness because I toggle back and forth between the 2.4 gigahertz dongle, which is on my main PC right here, and then Bluetooth, which is my streaming PC, which I'm using uh, right now. So that way I can just use one keyboard and go back and forth. And whenever I do that, like right now that the RGB isn't working at all, and that's probably because their IQ isn't installed on that computer. But if it's not installed, then it should be defaulting back to hardware lighting profile, which it doesn't. Like, I, I don't know if it's actually wrong or if that's how it's configured. Sometimes it'll be a little funky whenever I have to wake it up from sleep. There have actually been a few times where I've had to physically uninstall the dongle and then reinstall it back in to get it to work. So a little quirky, but I mean, I've been checking out this keyboard since day one. So we'll see. We'll see if that continues or not. It, it, it feels like it can be updated. But other than that, I really like it. it, it it's a, it's, it's a very high quality with the, um, the, what's it called? The foam. It's got the foam pads on there, lube switches and whatnot. It's really nice. Please review my PC part picker. No, we made a rule last week or two weeks ago, I should say. We are no longer reviewing PC part pickers during PC building streams. Maybe during the after hours. How many people don't know what Thirsty Thursday after hours are? Type a one in chat if you do not know what after hours are. Do you ship to the UK? The giveaway, uh, we can. It's a worldwide giveaway. For ZTTBuilds.com, no. We only ship to the United States. Okay. So after hours, I know this is like extremely elaborate and you might need to get out a pencil to start writing down these notes. But whenever we are done building this PC and it successfully turns on, we'll go into after hours. You know, we'll go dark mode and we'll just chill. We'll answer PC building questions, do a little Q&A, just hang out, kind of relax a little bit. Usually I finish my beer. Don't have that luxury tonight. Although the night is still young. I'm kind of feeling it. I, I could see myself still doing a beer tonight. Um, and we just kind of hang out for a little bit. So during after hours, then I sometimes review the PC part picker list. Not a guarantee though. All right, here we go. This is the Thermal Right Assassin. Peerless Assassin. 
120. Dual towered cooler. This is a very popular option for these higher end air cooling builds. This is recommended in our community so much and I just have somehow, we gotta zoom this out. What are we doing with our lives? I have somehow never used it. Probably because I don't build a lot of high end PCs. And his name is John That's beautiful. C what time is it in Pittsburgh? Uh, almost 8 p.m. Blue Dragon with the tier two, tier two Risa. Oh, tier two sub. Thank you, Blue. Uh, oh my God, Blue Dragon, you got me all, got me all caught up. Thank you for the tier two sub. Let's go. That's big time. Painful with the fitty bitty says, did you get around to undervolting yet? And Painful. Did, did I get around to undervolting? Painful, let me explain to you the difference between one kid and two kids, because I know you have a kid. Cute little toddler boy. I know your hands are full. But let me tell you something. All right? When you go from one kid to two kids, it's like one to seven. Teen. Okay? I... No, I have not had time to dial in the undervolts and overclocks and uh, min max and optimizations of my wife's PC. No. <sighs> I'm sorry, painful. And his name is John I, gotta, I gotta relax. I gotta relax. I'm just letting you know now, dude. I, I I have not had the time to do that. I'm sorry. Sorry. But I appreciate that you sent over the the, the, the settings that I need. Thank you. <laughs> I I pr here's the deal, painful. I promise you'll be the first person that knows. If I ever get to it. Try three kids? Nah, dude, I'm done. I, I, I am doing a firm stop at 17 kids. That is plenty enough for me. We, who, who, who needs more than 17? Uh, Blue Dragon, now gifting out a tier one sub. Thank you, Blue Dragon. Let's go. Much appreciated. Is that Blue Eyes? No, that's White Dragon. Blue Eyes... Do you ship to the Middle East? So with the worldwide giveaways, remember guys, there's a worldwide giveaway that we do on our streams all the time. But the fine print, hold on, the fine print, I will ship it anywhere in the United States. I will pay for that shipping. If an international viewer wins, you can use a relay company, which is a very normal thing to do, uh, to ship it the rest of the way. So these relay companies have with like warehouses or whatever on the coasts of countries um and they it's a reshipping company um basically i ship it to them and then they ship it to you i will pay to ship the worldwide giveaway pc anywhere in the states but if an international viewer wins then you have to pay to ship it from um that relay company whichever one you choose is fine i don't care um but if you're stateside then i'll, I'll pay to ship it directly to you Oh, look, we got some more Thermal Right TF7. We ran out of this. We ran out of this thermal paste. Let me see if this focuses. No? Focus? No? We got to get a different camera here. Oh, my God. What are we doing here? There we go. TF7. We ran out of that last time. Uh, but for ZTTBuilds.com, we, we don't ship anywhere other than the States. Sorry. Paying for the fitted bitties is that poor CPU. Dude, her 12700K is is gaming in the low 70s. It... Oh my god, painful. It's in the low 70s. It's fine. Do you, do you know what... Do you know what game my wife has been playing almost every single night lately? It's, it's GPU intensive, not CPU intensive, okay? We are definitely not stressing that 12700K, all right? She's playing Stardew Valley in 1440p, okay? All of the all of the power is going directly to the GPU. Her 12700K is fine. Her, her 4070 Ti, that might be getting a little overworked from Stardew Valley, okay? But I'm not worried about the 12700K. She's fine. We're good. <clears throat> I 
Day 25 of asking for a GPU? Damn. You missed it. I usually do it on, 20, on day 24. You'll have to start over, man. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. Okay, where's my... Okay, we're yep, yep, yep. We're not above instructions here at ZTT. Where, where's my AM5 instructions? What do I got to do? Boom. 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 Got it. Tracking. All right. Have you guys started guessing the? Oh, oh. Hold on. I gotta call. I gotta call my wife real quick. I gotta tell her to to grab the. The GPU that's sitting outside on the front porch. Hold on one second. Actually, never mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a quick bathroom break. It's it's been a it's been a hot minute. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. We're gonna run some ads. That way you guys don't have to watch the ads uh, later in the stream. I'll be right back to grab this GPU. Don't go anywhere. We're back. Oh, that was obnoxious to get. We got four new egg boxes to the house today. Um, I had to, thankfully, I found it in the John second C. box. But it was at the very bottom of the second box, and I had to scrounge through a bunch of other parts. We got the GPU. Uh, Jonathan with the Twitch Prime Sale coming up for 10 months now says, Hey, Zach, it's been a while since I've been on the stream due to me being at school, and this is my last year. I'm going to graduate, which is six days until my birthday. Nice. Best of luck. Thank you for coming by, man. 
how do I see my points? Type in uh, exclamation point giveaway, uh, and then it'll show you right there. All right, here's the GPU. Remember, this is a uh, somewhat unorthodox right, watch PC. Out, watch out, watch out, watch out. This is mainly a trading PC for a deal, uh, uh, day trade, uh, stock day trading type of person. But we wanted to give a little bit of a 1440p boost to their, um, so they can also game as well. So we're going with none other than the RX 7700 XT, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is one of the more affordable ASRock Challenger models. Again, we didn't want to go too overboard on the gaming side of things, but boom, 7700X. We just made a video with the 7700X, and it plays literally every game in 1440p at high or ultra settings. Boom. If I use the all-in-one building package, will you stream the PC? I will stream the PC, like this one. That's what we're doing right now. This is for a customer. Um, unless it is like a super RGB AIO custom cable. Like if it's over an over-the-top build, you said it wrong. It's 7700 XT. That's what I said. Um, if it's like a super overboard, like build that's going to take multiple hours to build at least me take multiple hours to build on stream i don't think i'm going to do that again um i'm okay building these types of pcs but on stream because we obviously move way slower than normal i don't i don't really enjoy the builds that take me a really long time so it depends on the build depends on the build but we will create some like vertical video content on it no matter what. If the 7900 XT is ultra 1440p, why isn't the 7900 XTX a 4K card? Nobody really consider, or most people don't consider cards 4K cards. Can you play 4K games on a 7900 XTX? Absolutely. Um, I don't know because most people don't really care um, what, like, the tough-to-run games, like a Helldivers 2, uh, or like a Starfield, what they game on 4K, because most people just don't do that. Uh, but yes, you absolutely can play in 4K, um, with like a 4080 Super, 7900 XTX, 4090, but I don't know, it's just, it's not super common to say it's a 4K card, because like, Despite the years of progression of resolutions and graphics quality and whatnot, 1440p at a higher refresh rate is still the sweet spot no matter what GPU or no matter what high end GPU you have. Pay for the Fitbit says the cap spam is going crazy even with the warnings. I'ma start perma muting people. The cap spam? Are people cap spamming? Don't cap spam. You're gonna get perma muted. What about a PC like yours in the background? Would you stream that? I did stream that. We did build that. Look, here's all you got to do, man. Here's all you got to do. You go to the ZTT YouTube channel. Okay? Boom. ZTT YouTube channel. And then click on the live tab. I update the thumbnails after the live stream of whatever PC we built. That way you can go back. And look, this is the PC right here. Building my new personal gaming PC four months ago. This is the whole stream of me building the PC that's sitting right behind me right now. Yeah. I I spend the extra time, because I feel like it's worth it, to adjust the thumbnails. That way you can see exactly what the PC is. So you can see the previous PC builds. Or the live streams of them. That inspired my all-white build. I love how it looks. Yeah, I'm definitely a big fan of the white builds. I I, I have been building a lot of all-black builds, though, <laughs> recently. We are definitely on a pure performance all-black build uh, type of kick right now. And But even aesthetically, like, all-black builds are, like, hitting my sweet spot right now. Probably because I just did five years of <laughs> all-white builds. Black over white, says Mark. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. No, I don't know if I go that far. I mean, a white build with one, maybe two colors, 
I still think is a sweet spot. A fish tank. Fish tank all white build with one color accent. I, I still think that's the top tier aesthetic. But I do like how these look. Okay, what are we doing next? All right. We're going to install these like this. Oh, we need our spacers first. Spacers down. Ooh. Like so. Now we can install this. Like this. Beige PC is the best look. I just made a video today, a vertical video today, talking not directly about beige PCs, but talking about some of the um, the glory days of PCs in the 90s, AKA the beige PC era. Trip down memory lane in that video. Yo, say jump to prove you are not pre-recorded. Did I pass? Hopefully I passed. How do the shipping companies know the winner's address? Um, because you set it up through the shipping company. Yeah, you set it up. It, it, if somebody that's international wants to buy anything in the United States that they normally can't, you can just use a relay company. Um, like, that's what people even in just Canada do. If, if, if they're trying to buy something from a U.S.-based company that doesn't ship to Canada or anywhere, um, you just use the relay company to do it, and then they take care of it. It's not like the relay company needs to know that this is a giveaway from Zach's Tech Turf. <laughs> like, it, it's a very streamlined system. The, the, the winner's going to be announced in May. This is the April giveaway. We do month-long giveaways. Uh, that way, you know, you do get the bonus points from subbing, the gifted subs, the biddies, and whatnot. Um... But the majority of points that most people are going to get are just from watching. So we run these giveaways month long um, just so you have enough time to rack, it, rack up the points and, and have a fair shot at winning the PC. Okay. All right. So this is how it's going to go. Just like, oh, you're not watching. Just like so. This is, is this camera going to work? Nope. We're all done. <laughs> so, all done with that one. Okay. Um, just like that. And then... Yeah, that's lined up. That's good to go. Boom. That's going to look clean. Yeah, I mean, we were struggling with that camera all day, so it, uh, it's not a hit so far. Yeah. No big deal. Okay, where's my TH7? We got new thermal paste. Oh, my God. Did I? Oh, nope. It's right here. Whew. I was going to say. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. We got some dried thermal paste on there. Hold up. Boom. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. CH7 on there. Gonna remove this. Don't call me out for forgetting that. We got it. We're good to go. Push that down. Lightly tighten it. Remember, you don't ever, with any component, you don't want to ever go full ham on one side and not the other. You want to kind of balance these out. Apply equal. Pr oh, 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 that was not on there. Apply equal pressure. This doesn't feel right. There we go. Apply equal pressure. That way you don't destroy your, G your CPU. What CPU is this? It's a 7950X. See, obnoxious. $660 CPU. Easily the most expensive CPU I've ever installed in my life. Cross hatch? Cross star? Yeah, we only have two, but yeah, I just want to go even out. Like that. Boom. 
that's on there boom all right now we can install our fans and this is actually kind of a funky fan layout because there's no sort of um what's it called uh hub or anything it's just two individual 120s usually they'll come with like a not a hub but like an adapter that will convert two to one um but this one doesn't Um, how do I want this oriented? I think I want it oriented the other way. Yeah, we want the cable down. I'm just orienting the fan here for my new people that aren't tracking this. The cable coming out of the fan here, and it's kind of hard to see. I want it down towards the motherboard. That way I can hide that cable underneath the CPU. You don't want to install it up here like this, and then you have this fan cable that you have to neatly find a good spot for it's easier to just make sure those cables are down towards the, the the motherboard that way you can easily just hide them underneath there does that make sense blue dragon with the 300 biddies thank you very much uh vinny with the 100 biddies says just got off work and I hopped on what's for thirsty thursday we are building a consulting build with a ryzen 9 7950x this person needed a lot of cpu processing power and we are giving it to them. Gonna plug it here. Just like that. And then we have to install this other fan. Now this fan, I'm gonna have to untwist tie here first. I assume air coolers are easier to install compared to AIOs. Uh, yes, they are easier, but not by like a huge amount. Like installing an AIO is not terribly difficult. I, I would not base your decision off of... Well, I guess you could. I was going to say I wouldn't base your decision off of the ease of install. But, I mean, first time PC builder, like, I... I get it. Like, if you want to try to keep things easy for your first build, go air cooler. Um, I mean, that's fine. AIO is easier to install? No, I don't agree. Don't agree with that at all. Again, AIOs aren't difficult. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> um, but no, they're not easier. Air is more reliable. Yeah, I mean, some pe for consulting builds, these are all about the customers, ma'am. If any of you do any sort of consulting... Is all about what the customer wants. Watch out, watch out, you know, watch out, if they want to, if I get the vibe from somebody that they want to build just a simple, clean PC, they don't want all sorts of RGB, they don't want all sorts of water cooling and whatnot, and or especially if they say like, hey, it's my first PC, you know, I'm going down the route of recommending a case that has pre-installed fans, keep things easy. I'm gonna stick with an air cooler. You know, we're just gonna we're gonna take what information we get from the customer to make sure that they're happy. You know, here's what it's looking like. This, dude, this looks awesome. This, this looks super clean. Our motherboard prep is fully done. Look at that, man. That looks cool. We have our MSI X670E Tomahawk motherboard. We got a Ryzen 9 7950X, a Thermalrite Peerless Assassin 120 cooler, 32 gigs, of Ripjaw's S5. <laughs> Carter PCs with the dollar dono. I would love to know who that is. Thank you, Carter PCs. <laughs> What's the specs? I'm reading them off, man. I'm reading them off. Um, and then we have a two terabyte Crucial P3 right there. Motherboard prep is officially done. How many people think that's the real Carter PCs right there? Do we have any chance? Any chance? All right. Now that our motherboard is prepped, power supply time. What speed? 2 by 16 at 6,000 megahertz. Uh, CL32. Yeah, not, we don't want to go overboard. Again, this is a day trading PC. <laughs> this is not meant to be an overkill uh, gaming PC. It's the real Carter I just checked. Well, if it is, what's up, man? One dollar 
if it's Carter, he's kind of cheap. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> I mean, he he is saving money. He's got to he's got to buy the Cybertruck. I think he has at least 6 Teslas already. You know, he's he's, he's got bills. He's got bills. Carter broke. <laughs> Ads time. Thank you for watching the ads. We appreciate it. Blue Blaze with the tier one sub. Thank you. What spec helps in day trading? He specifically told me that he needs as much CPU processing power as possible. He just wants a quick, reliable PC. And that's what we're giving him. Um, I was not about to pair a 7950X with a Sierra. RTX 3050 6 gigabyte. You know. I mean, we, we have to have some respect for ourselves. So, we still at least got him a RX 7700X. XD, I mean. Uh, but yeah, day trading is the main purpose for this guy's PC. Apparently. Does commenting on Twitch increase giveaway points? Uh, yeah, it does. I think it, it's not per message, though. Um... Oh, wait, no, no, never mind. Never mind. It's not on this giveaway. Never mind. Our old giveaway system gave points for that. No, this one does not. No, you can go into full lurk mode. Actually, hold on. Pause the music real quick. Speaking of which, we haven't done this for a while. Do we have any, like, legit lurkers out there right now? Lurkers, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. What? Maybe you're building a PC. Maybe you're rocking your kid to sleep. It, it's pretty early. Yeah, actually, it is kid rocking time. Um... Anybody lurking? Type a type a L in chat if you're in if you're coming out for the first time in lurk mode. Okay, we we got to see. Maybe, maybe there are none today. I'm I'm not really sure. You know that this seems to be a pretty active stream. Do we have any actual L's here? That's a lot. Oh, and that one guy spamming on YouTube. That doesn't sound like a true lurker. Look at all those first time chatters popping up. There they are. Lurkers, welcome, welcome. Thank you for waking up. I appreciate it. Boom. Let's go. I love to see the Lurker Army. We haven't had to call the Lurker Army for a while. Monkey with the Machine Gun with 100 bitties says, If they're really lurking, they won't answer. You've been here long enough, Monkey. You know how the ZTT Lurkers are. Okay. We have a lot of Lurkers here, as you just saw. But they're still, they're still keeping some taps on what's going on in the situation. They're not... They don't just pull up the stream and then walk away for the giveaway points. They're at least paying attention a little bit, okay? If you didn't know that, you do now, because they're here. You saw it. You can go back into lurker mode, yes. Go ahead. You're good. You, you're dismissed. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So we have our power supply cables here. We got a fully modular power supply. Remember the golden rule, never use any cables with your power supply that did not come with your power supply. Yes, there are certain little compatibility things, um, but just don't do it. Okay. <laughs> Only use the cables that came with it. I wasn't lurking. What is the price of a ticket? 100 giveaway points. Okay. So we don't need that. We do need a CPU cable. Tear Chop with the 100 bit, he says, Zach, I just sold my first flip for 729 USD. It had a Ryzen 5 5500 and a 2080 Ti. Nice. Nice work. That's a good flip. Where did you flip it on, Teardrop? Where did you flip it? Why is Hydrated out of stock? Dude, I don't know. Oh, Painful probably stopped them. Most streams these days, I used to like be really good at responding. Facebook, nice. I used to be really good at like responding to the hydrates and whatnot. Um, it got a little out of hand. I think painful made of maybe permanently turn them off. <clears throat> what pays better, YouTube or Twitch? It's a good question. I don't know. Um, I mean. The way I run my business is very lopsided. Like we are way, way more YouTube heavy than Twitch heavy. Like we're, we're, we're we are making way more money on YouTube compared to Twitch. If I changed our business to be more live stream focused, like maybe build five builds a week, there's a chance Twitch. I mean, Twitch, Twitch is pretty good for, for what it is. 
the the the, the Twitch payout structure has been getting better over the years, actually, not worse. Um, what what connector do we need for a 7700X? XC. Watch out, watch I gotta out, check out the out, GPU real quick. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. Heads up. Fancy shirt with 100 biddies. Thank you very much. Blue Dragon with another 100 biddies. Says, Zach, I am getting an entry-level PC, a 5600X with an RTX 3060 Ti for $621. Is the price too cheap? Could there be a problem with the PC? I am seeing the PC on Marketplace. It is cheap. It, it, it's cheap enough that I would go into investigative mode. Yeah. But you guys hear me in, or hopefully you hear me talk about it in the shorts. You never know why someone is selling a PC. You know, sometimes they're just moving and they don't want it. Or some people just realize that they love PCs and now they're building a 4090 build and they don't want anything to do with their 3060 Ti build. They could care less. They just want to get rid of it. You could get lucky and it is somebody just selling it at a really good price. Uh, but at that price, it is low enough that you want to second and triple check that because uh, it is a little sus. Painful the fitted video says, someone say hydrate. You have five of them? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hydrate. I, I, I've been hi I've been hydrating. I, I, I am one kombucha and 24 ounces of water down. Like we're good. What is better, lurking or commenting? It really comes down to how annoying you are. That is the, the telltale. Okay. What was I looking for? All right. The reason why I got our graphics card out is, see, pretty clean so, side profile. The only thing I don't ever like about the Challenger, I mean, this is a very clean car. Watch out, watch All out, black, watch out, watch super out. clean backplate. The front GPU shroud, I mean, that looks, I, I love the design of these Challengers. The only thing I don't like about the Challengers is they will never paint their, uh, their heat pipes. So just that little bit of copper never looks good. Um, but... With a pure performance build, these are the ones to buy because these challengers are consistently the ones at the lowest price, at least over the last month or two or three, maybe. Um, if you have a little bit more money to spend, you know, there are some better looking, better performing models out there, but definitely not a requirement. Oh, we didn't need that. Uh, fancy shirt with another hundred bitty says I emailed you about a build and asked about either a 4070 Ti Super or a 4080. I will never respond to an email if you're asking for PC building advice. Sorry, never. Yeah, I, I w it, 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 as soon as I sniff out that you're just asking for PC build advice, sorry, email is not the place to do it. Right below and above and to the side of my email address, no matter where you find it, it says business emails only. So I don't have, I don't feel guilty about doing that um but here's a, a better place uh either a 4070 ti super or the 4080 i convinced myself to get the 4080 super and i don't regret it nice <laughs> just went above and beyond there you go that'll work okay and we don't need any of these cables how many people saw this and didn't say anything type a one in the chat right now if you saw this Type a one in the chat if you knew I was sounding like an idiot and you saw this earlier. Are anybody? No, no, no. There's no way. No, you didn't. All of those people? For real? No way. I didn't see it for real. I don't believe you. There's no way that all of you saw this and I didn't see any messages. No way. All of us are lying. Yeah. Do you guys know what this is? Do you guys know why this makes me look like an idiot? <laughs> Who can explain what what I'm looking at here and why this is uh, ironic? What is it? Yeah, it's a fan splitter. <laughs> this is exactly what I specifically when said whenever I was installing the CPU cooler that it was weird that it didn't come with a fan splitter 
and it was just two 120 millimeter fans. And I think I even said most CPU coolers will come with a fan splitter. Uh, and I, 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 I just found it. Yep, my, that was that was my bad. I mean, we're already plugged in here. Ain't no big deal. We are using one additional um, PWM port on the motherboard, but we have 17 others, so we're good for now. But <laughs> my fault. My bad. <clears throat> my bad on that one. <clears throat> uh, Painful the fit of says I shut it off. 10 people redeemed it in one minute. Yeah, we gotta... Or I don't know if we have to, but at some point we should think about the baller points, the channel points on Twitch. I mean, we got so many systems going on here. We got the giveaway system. We got the biddy system. All the, the YouTube super chat. I'm reading two chats at once. I'm reading my activity feed over here with you guys gifting out all the biddies. I don't know if I can handle another system, to be honest. If somebody motivated me with a really, really good idea uh, for that type of thing, uh, I would consider it. But, yeah, I just, I'm not really motivated to fix that anytime soon. Thoughts on the 4060 in 2024? I would, I would look for my most recent short about it. I just made a short last week, or uploaded a short last week, about the 4060 and how with the price continuing to lower right now, I, I, I actually do. It's starting to actually not look terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I would I would really recommend looking for that if you're actually in the market for a 4060. I can't tell which is which. Forty sixty at AMD prices right now. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Um, the forty sixty is getting to the point where it's only thirty dollars more than a uh, the AMD counterpart seventy six hundred, or is it the XT? I forget. But regardless, whenever the direct comparison between Nvidia and AMD is only thirty dollars. We do get to the point where the NVIDIA value is there because we all know, even though most of us preach about the value of AMD, the value of AMD is because the price is lower. You know, is you get more Zero. FPS per dollar. But when the NVIDIA price continues to go down and the AMD prices don't move too much, um, with only a $30 difference, that NVIDIA premium doesn't look so terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the 4060 is continuing to go down. Dr. Drift with the tier one sub. Thank you very much. Invalid, invalid or Shay with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. All right, that's all we had to do. Our power supply is fully prepped. We are not using any cable extensions. Going to give one more uh, discount double check to make sure that those are fully seated in there. And we are good. We only needed the 24 pin, the four plus four for the CPU, and then two of the six plus twos on the graphics card. And we are done. Again, this is the MAG A750GL, which is plenty power. Actually, it's not plenty. It's and definitely good enough, but it's not overkill for our build. <clears throat> DK4Q with the tier one sub comeback for two months now says, hello, hello. Free PC for 5 million points. Not really seeing the ROI on that one. We got to see a little bit of ROI on that. Are we out of it? Uh -uh. <clears throat> Zach, I subbed in. I didn't get 500 points. Just give it a minute. Give it a minute. That The thing lags. It's, it's not instant. It lags. You'll get it. Don't worry. 5 million points is crazy. How many, how many Twitch points do you guys have? I don't even know what, the, what those numbers look like. I don't even know. Like, do people have a million? I mean, some of these OGs have got to be up there. How, if you've been here for a while, how many, how many Twitch points do you have? 19K, says Monkey with a Machine Gun. 10K, says Teardrop. 
My wife says 77k. <laughs> She's probably never cashed out a single one. Akira says 174k. Oh my god. <laughs> Five mil? <laughs> we could <can> do that. <laughs> Don't clip that though. 28k. I lost a lot on polls. Yeah, the polls will get you. <laughs> the polls will get you. If you guys are new, we we have a basketball hoop. We have a custom ZTT basketball hoop that Painful made us. It's actually just a couple. It, it's a currently the ZTT basketball hoop is our trampoline basketball hoop for uh, my kids, and it's so it's still getting used. My two year old loves playing basketball, um, but we used to have the basketball hoop like set up on the stream, and then we would do polls for if I would make it or if I would uh, miss it, and people would be able to bet their channel points on it. Those were the fun days. <laughs> Those were fun days. It was like 60 of us, you know? It was like a it was like a big group chat, but somebody happened to have their video on. Those, those were fun. <laughs> Can we see the hoop? No, it's it's fixed to the trampoline right now. It was really nice. All right, here's our case. We haven't talked about this at all. This is the Fractal Design Pop Air, not the Mini. This is the normal ATX size one. There's also a Pop XL. Uh, this is just the Pop Air. All black case. Comes with three pre-installed. Just black fans. 120s. We got two here in the front. One in the back. Which is perfect. This is a somewhat high quality case. It only costs 80 bucks. Which I really like. Um, but fractal design. You know. So you're getting that top tier. I'm, I lost the drawer. This front part, you guys have probably heard me talk about this a lot. This front part is a drawer that you can pop out. Um, so you pop off that magnetic panel, and you get a little drawer here. You can throw your little your thermal paste in here, thumb drives, your dongles, maybe some camera batteries. Just throw that in here in the front of the case. It's also a uh, a hard drive, or no, not a hard drive. Um, a uh, like a CD, a DVD. Uh, drive that you could put there if you were feeling up for it if you needed a cup holder or something um, But yeah, this is just I mean this dude, this looks nice in person This is just as clean and minimal as it gets. I actually, I actually like this more than I thought I would I recommend this a lot. I like this case. I like this case for higher-end Pure performance builds. This is one of my one of my top picks for the higher-end pure performance builds no RGB comes with the fans to make things easier you know um and it's good enough quality to house parts like the 7950x you know yeah i really like this one not fish tank a lot of the people that are the pure a lot of people in the pure performance crowd don't even like the fish tanks this is what the cable management looks like right from the factory actually pretty solid you know we have our usb ports round down here we have our fans um, that are not daisy chained together, which is kind of weird, but we can do that, I guess. Yeah, that is weird. They're not daisy chained at all, even though they're these two are right next to each other. Uh, but we can take care of that. But yeah, not too bad. Got plenty of room here for 2.5 inch SSDs. We can hide all of our cables down here at the bottom. Pretty simple and clean. Yeah, it's the Fractal Design Pop Air. Monkey with the machine gun with 100 bit. He says, had to bump Mark out of the number one spot just for giggles. The number one spot for what? Bits? Yeah, Mark had the big biddies. Oh, yeah, you did bump him out. <laughs> oh, I like that scroll up there. That's nice, Twitch. That Twitch interface is looking good up there. I like that. I don't ever look at that screen. I'm always looking at my activity feed. You can use the extra fan splitter you have now. I do have an extra one. <laughs> Good point. Here's the accessories that the Pop Air comes with. Four zip ties. Spacers. And some screws. Nothing fancy. Not super overboard. Oh, we'll take this off. Boom. There we go. 
All right. Now we just have to start. We are officially in the Lego building process now. We just got to start um, putting these Lego pieces together. And we'll be good to go. You guys ready? Should we start building this thing? Looks like we got all the standoffs we need. We're good, man. We're good. Lego. All right. <clears throat> this is going to like, hold on. We, we're going to have to up the brightness a little bit on here. All black components. We're not getting any help from the lighting situation here. There we go. Legos. Daddy likes. <laughs> YouTube username Daddy, ironically. <laughs> I like it. Skip the 3050, go straight to a 3060. I, I was just kidding. I'm not actually using a 3050 on here. Don't 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 you worry. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. You I, <laughs> You could just tell right away, man. Oh, that is the definition of clean. Somehow. My pure performance builds still look on point. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. That looks so good already. What's up, David? We are building a consulting build for a customer. It's a 7950X, 32 gigs of DDR5, and an RX 7700. A little bit out of the ordinary. Uh, but this person doesn't need this for just a gaming PC. They are a day trader and they wanted as much CPU processing power as possible. So we are making it happen. This is my first ever 7950X build or anything remotely close to that. Uh, I was shaking a little bit while installing a $660 CPU. But we managed to get it in there, and I think we're good. So he doesn't trade at night? <laughs> That's actually not bad. You, if, if I could award channel points, I would. That's not bad. That, 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 I've heard worse. <clears throat> Why is shout out disabled? Again, the point system. What? Why are we getting questions about the point system today? Is YouTube like, like, directing you guys to the points down there? Be like, hey, use your points. I never get questions about this point system. What cooler? This is the Thermal Right Peerless Assassin 120. It is a very, very popular option for systems that want to have a beefy air cooler setup as opposed to an AIO. I see a lot of people use this. It is my first time somehow using it though. Uh, and I'm pretty impressed, especially now that we know that it does indeed come with the fan splitter. <laughs> that, was the only, that was the only thing I didn't like about it, <laughs> but we're good now. Ooh, I don't know if that screwdriver is going to work. Maybe. Yeah. I think that's going on. Yeah, we're good. Boom. There we go. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that a lot. I really like that. Okay. All right. Let's get a little side view here. What are we thinking? Is it not dark? Uh, is it too dark? Is that too dark? Can they see what I'm looking at or no? It looks good. What do you guys think? How are we looking so far? God tier watch? Oh, dude, my watch matches perfectly with this build. Yeah. Good call on that one. All black? Wow. There's a great combination there. Good eye on that. Clean? I can see it enough. Yeah, if you guys think I should increase the the light on that camera, let me know. <laughs> the, the camera specs right now are definitely tuned for all white builds where we have to keep the the brightness a little bit lower for the all-white builds. Um, but things change with the all-black builds. 
little bit more difficult to see. Matte black everything. Oh, we're going to use this bottom USB 3.0 connector instead. Hold on. I, I have this cable all twisted up now. Oh, wait. No, it's not me. It's Fractal Design. They sent it all twisted up. Okay. We'll do our best. Is it worth upgrading from a Wraith cooler to an AIO or an upgraded air cooler on the 5600X? Um... Don't let me forget that. That's a good question. Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me forget that. Anonymous with the three dollar and thirty-three cent tip. Hi, I'm a first-time PC builder. Is an i5 13400F with an RTX 4060 good enough? With a nine hundred uh, something budget. Pound? Is that pounds? Or euro? I don't know. I always get those two confused. Um, well, I don't know what the market looks like over there. That's that's not a terrible combo. If if you want Intel and Nvidia, that's a good combo. Like that, uh, that's probably the best that you can do with that price range. Now, for that same price range, you can probably buy a 7600 and a 7700 XT. <laughs> the Jeep, this GPU right here, which will give you significant more. FPS per dollar than what you listed, but um, if if you just prefer Intel and Nvidia, then go for it. LTT screwdriver, yeah, yeah. Except I didn't pay for it. Uh, Brett from UFD Tech hooked me up with it. Do you go to the gym? Yes. Yeah, not lately though because of the stomach virus, unfortunately. Um, I did go yesterday, but I am like two weeks depleted right now. Yeah, uh, I went to the when I went to the gym yesterday. I lifted. Uh, it was a push day, so shoulders, chest, and tries. And I was a solid on the higher rep exercises, like the twelve to fifteen exercises. I was five reps shorter than what I normally am. I mean, I am. My body is, hence why I'm not drinking tonight. My body is just super, super weak right now unfortunately and we've been trying to be in full recovery mode lately okay i'm just gonna plug in all of these uh power switches and power leds actually that's it and then we'll be done boom okay that's plugged in boom we're pretty much done so that is all the... Oh, no. We got to do the fans. Oh, 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 oh. We got to do the fans. Almost forgot. Riddler with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Uh, Sonan... Son... Sonan Tony with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Much appreciated. All right. Yeah, we got to take care of these fans first. Do you have a Discord? Yeah, type in exclamation point Discord. You got a lot of people in there. It's a great resource for um, PC building help. Wait, hold, hold on one second. You, if you haven't heard about the Discord, let me give you a little tour. All right, real quick. Go to exclamation point Discord. That'll take you where you need to go, okay? Once you get there, look, I mean, we got all sorts of action in here. Mainly, we got the ZTT Deals channel. Almost every day, we post the best PC hardware deals. Whenever you hear me in my videos say I got a good deal on X, Y, or Z, it probably came from ZTT Deals, okay? We got all that. We got our community builds on deck here. Every day we post four. There's so many people submitting now that we post four community builds every single day. Let's look at the builds today. We have a, oh, Banana. Banana's uh, 8,700K and RTX 3070 build. Looking very nice. Oh, these were yesterday's build. We haven't seen the builds today. Um, we also have a 7700X and a 6950 XT build. Also looking pretty clean. Oh, here's one. 7800X3D and a 7900XT with the World Wide Web logo there on the AIO. And then we got a super clean $540 flip with an upside down AMD uh, logo here. But we'll forgive it. I love the PSU 
uh, vinyl action here. That looks really good. Boom. We got the community builds on here. We got all sorts of channels for PC building help, you know, and then we have some off topic stuff. We got some fitness action. Oh my God. Is that really a foot pick? Okay. Don't look at the feet pick. Um, uh, sure. It's fitness related. We got dad life on here. We got fantasy football. You know, we got all sorts of, all sorts of stuff in here. I can't show you the exclusive section because that's only for the exclusives. Damn the ads. Oh my God. Did I really just do that during ads? Oh my god. We'll run it back. We'll do it again. We gotta do it again. I cannot figure out how to get into the community builds. How long have you been trying? What have you tried so far, actually? <laughs> we, we can get you to the right spot, but I, we need to know what you've tried so far and what hasn't worked. A day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. <clears throat> What's the raw price point on this build? Uh, $1,900 exactly. $660 for the CPU. $280 for the motherboard. $200 for the RAM. Oh, wow. I've been steering you guys wrong the whole time. That's a 64 gigabyte RAM kit. Wow. I knew something was wrong too because... I was thinking in the back of my mind, why would I only get 6,000 megahertz on a build like this? I mean, 6,000 is perfectly fine, but I, I, I would have anticipated myself to go higher. It's because it's a 64 gigabyte kit. Now that makes sense. We got an RX 7700 XT for $400. The power supply was 94. The case was 80. The, the two terabyte SSD was 120. The cooler was only 39. Mm. And then the... $20 Windows key. Uh, $1,900 exactly. For the parts. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. We just got to do the fans real quick. What do you suggest? Intel or AMD? I, I don't have a blind suggestion like that. It all depends on your... The situation. It all depends. All right. How do we want to daisy chain all of these? What's the... What's the macro level strategy here? Because I don't, I didn't bring any fan headers with me, but these are daisy chainable. Um, it might be easier just to keep them all up at the top. Can I do that? Do we have an extra port up here? We got a sys fan up here. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna daisy chain these up to the top. Oh my god, I really should have used my thing. <laughs> okay. Uh no, I don't want to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to use the <laughs> we're going to use that header. We're going to backtrack just a little bit. We're going to use that header cuz that's going to make my life uh way easier. This is the header we're talking about. This is going to allow me to connect both the fans of our CPU cooler daisy chain together which you're not really going to be able to see but just trust me i'm plugging this in uh that way i can use the top sys fan header and his name is John which will be really easy to daisy chain the case fans directly to this so yeah we're going to use this maybe oh i just knocked off the cpu cooler not good <laughs> trying to do this without uh significantly impacting our cable management with these cables but i feel like i'm gonna screw everything up now okay just want to make this look clean for the customer man we gotta make things look clean all right cpu fan it's in a pretty tough spot once it's installed in the case wasn't really thinking this through but we got it in there okay now we just gotta jam these cables down. Sorry, I know you can't really see what I'm doing. Almost done. All right, there we go. Looking super clean. Now, I can daisy chain these fans together 
and plug these in up at the top. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Hey, for the third video, it says, have you given the new mods Twitch and YouTube mod powers yet? No, I haven't. Do we need... <clears throat> Do we need more Twitch and YouTube modding? <clears throat> I don't consider that a standard. Like, we just got some new Discord mods. But I wouldn't necessarily say that that always means that they're going to be a Twitch mod. <clears throat> Do we need more Twitch and YouTube modding help? What do the what do the people think? I need the opinions of both the mods and the people. Okay, we'll plug this one into this one. And then we'll plug this one into this one. Do we need more help? I think the Twitch modding is good. Maybe like one more person. <clears throat> Mark's got this. <laughs> Does YouTube have giveaway points like Twitch? No, sorry. And I promise you it's not a master plan. I mean, I do like that it moves a lot of you guys over to Twitch because it's good diversification. But I promise that's not the reason why. The giveaway platform that we use simply just does not work on YouTube. If I had the choice, I would allow it to be a dual uh, platform giveaway. I, I think that would be better because I know some of you just prefer to watch on YouTube and that's perfectly fine. Um, but if that is the case, if you do indeed just prefer to watch on YouTube, then watch out, watch just out, have the stream up on both. <laughs> Put the stream up on Twitch. That way you still get those points, but then um, actually watch on YouTube if you want to use like the YouTube features. Because there are some things that are better about YouTube. <laughs> Painful the Fitted says, I think it's mostly fine, but I figured it wouldn't hurt. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I haven't made those new guys mods yet. Not for a specific reason, I just haven't done it yet. Spart with the tier one sub, thank you. Oh, default, uh, Ursum with the Twitch Prime sub, thank you. I think I missed that one. I think we're good on mods. Does the chat seem pretty locked down? Oh, and my wife has a mod too. She'll throw down the ban hammer every now and then as well. How many people have you banned so far? Just two? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I thought I thought she would have been banning them. People left and right. Locked in, not locked down. What are your headphones? You can type in exclamation point headset to go right to it, but it's the Corsair HS80, not the Maxes, the OG HS80s. All right, we are good to go. All of our fans are daisy chained together, and they're all tying up into this connector up here, which is going to sys fan. Um, I guess we could actually, yeah, let's tidy this little area up real quick before we install our power supply. I always do, this is always my method of building PCs. I always try and get the build somewhat pretty and organized um, before the power supply goes in, because we know as soon as the power supply goes in, then cable management um, gets a little chaotic. So I'd rather take care of what I can take care of now first and make things a little bit um, less terrible whenever we get all those power supply cables in here. Okay, I'm not using these. <laughs> I tried to use the stock tiny zip ties, but we're going to go to the the big guns. I tried. And his name is John C. A dad joke with the Twitch Prime sub. No dad joke, ironically enough, though. I would have loved one. Do the giveaway points carry over or reset every stream? Well, yeah, it's a month-long giveaway. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. The points reset once the giveaway winner is selected. That way people that have been watching for years don't have an unfair advantage and new people actually have a chance of winning. Um, but no, it's it's reset after every giveaway, which is usually a month long. So the points you're earning now are for the May giveaway. Okay, boom, that's looking pretty clean. We'll get one more up here. We can use the tiny one, I think. Just make that a little cleaner and then we'll be good. Raptor Man with a $2 super chat over on YouTube says, Thoughts on 13th Gen going into 
new GPU releases? Thoughts on 13th gen going into new GPU releases? What new GPU releases are you talking about? You talking about the the quarter four GPU releases? Um, I mean, there's a very real chance that Ryzen 9000 series is out before the new GPUs are out. I Right now, for the higher end builds, which is probably what you're talking about, if you're considering 13th gen, um, I like AM5 better, man. I like the upgradability of AM5. We know that Intel 14th gen is the last generation for the LGA 1700 Johnson. socket. So if you buy a 13600K or a 13700K, you don't really have anywhere to upgrade to. You know, you're you're kind of stuck or that you're kind of stuck on that. Um, with AM5, you have more flexibility because Ryzen 9000 series isn't even out yet, and it could go even farther than that. Um, AM price performance wise is better in a lot of cases. Obviously, it varies CPU to CPU. So. I mean, if you're if you're considering a brand new higher end build, I I would go AM5, you know, for the most part. The only time that that changes is if uh, like you're an Adobe Premiere editor, content creator type of person, if you're doing something that can specifically utilize an Intel based CPU better than Ryzen, then then that would make sense. Which is why I run Intel. I'm running a 12700K uh, on the PC behind me right now. So it depends, but for the most part, AM5 is the play right now, in my opinion. Okay. Power supply going in. We're going to get some screws here. What is your favorite GPU? Honestly, it is probably this one. <laughs> I, I don't have like loyalty to any GPU, but I don't know if there's a better looking GPU than this ASRock Taichi 7900 XTX. I mean, that that's a good looking GPU, man. The... Uh, MSI, RTX 4080 Super, the cheese grater. Uh, that's getting up there on the list as a meme. <laughs> I've been enjoying making a bunch of videos featuring that GPU. Still think it's super ugly. But I do like the value that I'm getting out of it. Better looking MSI expert? Yeah, exactly. And his name is John. Uh, Knight with the tier one sub. Thank you. Oh, also, uh, Larios. L Lyros. Lyro. How, how have I been saying that? Lyrios. Lyro. Lyros. 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 How have I, how have I been saying that? I don't know. Thank you for the tier, <laughs> tier one reason. I've come back for five months now. Much appreciated. <clears throat> I am not saying anything more to prove that the stream is not recorded. Although, if this was a pre-recorded stream, saying something like that would actually be a good idea. Just like every now and then saying, I'm not saying any specific word to prove that it's not recorded. That would actually be pretty sharp. And then it would be sharp to follow it up with that explanation as well. Pay for the fit bitty says, I'm surprised that MSI card didn't get into the wife's build. Um, would that have even fit? I don't know if that would have even fit, but there's no way I would put that ugly of a card. Okay, we're gonna have to. I'm I'm not loving how this is all mounting in here. Let's um stand this build up a little bit. There we go. Hope we can get a little bit more weight distribution here with these power supply screws.
What's the GPU again? It's an ASRock um, RX 7700 XT. Uh, the Challenger. Yeah, I've been loving the 7700 XT lately. I've been making some pure performance build guides. 7700 XT. We played every game in 1440p high or ultra with 60 FPS with the 7700 XT. Get drunk? No, not today. Not today. We usually do on Thirsty Thursday, uh, but I got a stomach virus and I got to be smart. Pay for the fit of it. He says, the fact that it's ugly is the point you can't see it in the Terra. Yeah, that's true, but I'll still know. And I enjoy using the the ugly 4080 Super in my videos. Whenever I need a GPU, that's the GPU I grab for a video. ASRock good GPU? Um, I mean, good enough, yes, but the ASRock Challenger is not a high-end GPU by any means. The ASRock Challenger is typically one of the more budget-focused uh, GPU lineup of cards. Um, but again, this is not a gaming PC. <laughs> so it makes sense for us to use something like this. These make sense for a build like this, obviously. Uh, but also if you are just chasing, if you're chasing as much FPS per dollar, then the challenger usually makes a lot of sense because these are typically the most affordable lineup of card, no matter like which card, like if you're getting a 7,600, 7700 XT, etc. The Challenger is usually the lowest priced card. Um, so it makes sense for those builds. For just like a, if you're building one personal watch PC, out, watch out, watch out, watch out. you have a somewhat flexible budget. I wouldn't buy a Challenger. I would buy a slightly higher end card for sure. But but they definitely they definitely um, fit their purpose. Yeah, they, they, they fill a niche pretty well. Painful the Fitted Bitty says, Azrock finally figured out how to make a backplate full length. Yeah, I mean, these look great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is as clean as it gets. Yeah. Yeah, super clean. Uh, I th Yeah, was it the Challenger that would cut off the backplate, like right here? Like, this part used to be backplate, and then you would see this second uh, heat sink here. It was very ugly. Uh, but yeah, this is just a very clean, very clean design. <clears throat> All right, where are we at? All right, power supply is in. So we just need to start plugging in some of these cables and we're about done, man. We're about done. Nine o'clock PM? Ooh, I think I am liking this time. It, how, it, did anybody's opinions change? I know I asked everybody when we first started. Did anybody's opinion change or or did they not voice their opinion yet on the, on the earlier start time for Thursday it, Thursday? It, we started a full hour and a half earlier. I don't like, I don't like how that felt at all. We started a full hour and a half earlier this time. Um, how you guys feeling about that? Who says nine o'clock p.m.? Normal people. What do you say? Do you say twenty one hundred? I would accept that as well. 2100 works. We can do it that way. I got to get into work early on Friday. Yeah, see, there you go. Okay. 24 pin is plugged in. We'll definitely talk about that in a minute because there's something I don't like about this case. Going to plug in our CPU power cable, which is going to be tough. Our C that's, the, that's the one thing about these huge CPU coolers. It's really tough to get up here in this top corner to plug this in. I'm up till 6 a.m.? Yikes. Oh, man, this is going to be really tough. This is doable, but this is going to be really tough. Oh, man, I'm going cross-eyed looking at this. You need some serious finger dexterity. We are just very jammed up in here. Oh, I got it. I think. It's not plugged in, though, but... Got it. Okay. That was difficult. All right. Here's what I was trying to do. To plug in this 24 pin. Getting your hands right here. <laughs> Little tough. But we got it. We are good to go. Here's the thing I don't like about the 24 pin that I'm noticing. Um, or at least for this case. Is there's no sort of bar or anything for this slot where the cables can go. So unless if we really secure this down in the back, which we will because of this issue, um, 
If not, this cable would just like kind of free fall like all the way down here. That I don't like. There's usually like two separate holes or three separate holes here. So the cable can rest on that. I'm not a big fan of that huge opening there. Uh, but again, that can be fixed with cable management in the back. Painful the Fitted Bitty says, I agree with Mark. The earlier time is tough for me. Earlier mods. <laughs> Maybe we do find them. <laughs> Maybe we ask for early mod help. Yeah, because I mean, that's a very real thing. We definitely need some mod support. <clears throat> the CPU cooler on the RAM is sending me. That's a very that's a very standard look. I, I think you need to get that checked out. That's a personal problem there. Yeah, beefy CPU coolers will sometimes overhang over the RAM. That's why they make low profile RAM. <laughs> that's exactly why you buy RAM sticks like this as opposed to the big like YOLO Warhawks that stick up there super high. Brendan with the five Dallas super chat over on YouTube says, Hey Zach, just built my first budget PC. What do you think? What do you think I should upgrade first? Ryzen 5 5500 RX 58 RX 580. Oh my God. Uh, 16 gigs of DDR4, 850 watt power supply. You are in the prime. There is only one right answer to that. <laughs> There's only one right answer. Who knows? <laughs> you have a Ryzen 5 5500 an RX 580. 16 gigs of RAM and an 850 watt power supply. There is one correct answer here. What should he upgrade first? What do you guys think? Yep, everyone on Twitch has got it. Yep. Yep, upgrade that GPU, man. For sure. There's no, there's no you can't make an argument for anything else. Yep, get a new GPU. Your Ryzen 5 5500. The reason why this one is a very cut and dry answer is because your 5500 can handle a much better GPU than the RX 580 without having a bottleneck concern. And you have an 850 watt power supply. So you're already, you have enough power to supply a new upgrade as well. Yep, get a new GPU for sure. <clears throat> Maybe he isn't a gamer. That's always true. Yep, that's always true. There are a million different factors that can go into it. You know, maybe he's a day trader, you know. But whenever you're asking questions on the internet, especially when they don't give the answer, safe to say, especially when they say it's my first gaming PC, <laughs> safe to say that they're just, it's just a typical gamer. Yeah. What is the MSRP for the 5090? What do you guys think? I don't even know. What is the MSRP of the 4090? I mean, I know they're all like $1,800, but what was the MSRP? <clears throat> the MSRP was fifteen ninety nine. Oh, jeez, it's gonna be nineteen ninety nine, isn't it? Nineteen ninety nine. I mean, if forty nineties are still selling for eighteen hundred to two thousand, a fifty ninety is definitely gonna sell for two thousand or more. <clears throat> <clears throat> $16.99 to $17.99 expected. I promise you it's not going to be $16.99. There is no way it's going to be $16.99. They just sold a $15.99 card for two years at two to two and a half thousand dollars for two years. It is not going to be $16.99. No way. No way. <clears throat> Yo, Zach, remember I said I was going to buy the t-shirt? I did. Nice. Let's go. Make sure you post a picture uh, when you get it in the Discord. <laughs> Painful the Fitted Bitty says, wait for the 5090 Ti Super tit Titan Platinum. You forgot a... Oh, yeah. Okay. You have Ti and Super. Yeah. Ti Super Super. Okay, let's get these power supply cables in up here. That way we're ready for our GPU, and then we are almost done. Sorry, I think I missed the super chat. I'll get to it in just a second. It doesn't let me join your Discord, man? Uh-uh. 
Uh, think it might be a user issue, man. User error. Unless if you're banned. You might be banned. If it's actually not letting you, you might be banned. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Because everyone else has figured it out. <laughs> Thousands of people have figured it out. Oh my god, why is this not... What in the world's going on here? There we go. Alright, that's out. Boom. Alright, let's do a little bit of touch-up cable management in the back. Painful with the fitty bitty says, and what about the power draw of the 5090? It's gonna be bad or awful? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be brutal. <clears throat> I can't see what you're doing. Yeah, sorry. It wasn't that entertaining. Okay, here's where we're at. So we pre-cable manage the build. Now, we just want to cable manage the power supply that we just installed. So, like I said, this 24 pin is going to be crucial. We're going to want to make sure that that is tight. And I don't know if Velcro is the best option for that. Um, but that's what we got. Boom. And then we can kind of flatten out those cables, and that'll probably come down here. Just like, or I don't know if that's going to close. Might need to make this bend a little bit larger. I mean, this looks good, but the way that these are kind of flat cables is they might be too high. So I can't close this the back of the case. So we're going to have to find a spot that these are going to actually turn for us. Like that. There we go. Something like that, maybe. And then this, we can tidy that going up here. All right, let me zip tie this right here real quick. Two thousand watt power supplies coming for the fourteen nine hundred K and fifty ninety. Fifteen nine hundred K and fifty ninety. Yeah, we'll need a 15900K at that point. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Yeah, this is I'm still not liking how this is looking, but I don't really have a choice here. That'll flatten over time with the case. And that's actually a good, that, that, that's a good height. Yeah, that'll work right there. Okay. So that part's good. We'll just do a quick tidy up of these cables over here or this cable over here and then we're pretty much done then we just got to install the gpu painful fitty bitty says since they are flat cables run them under the 2.5 panel <sighs> no painful actually i mean that does sound like a good idea actually i've seen some people do that i mean no 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 i'm not doing that no 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 it's fine it's fine it is a good idea yeah i've seen some people do that i've never done that before though um He's saying because they're flat cables, we could run these cables here directly under this 2.5 inch drive. Um, it would look nice. You know, we could just flatten them out there. I guess I'm not 100% opposed to that. I kind of want to do it just to watch out, watch out, see it in action. What do you guys think? Should we do that or no? Should we put the, the 24 pin? Should we route it underneath the 2.5 inch hard drive bay or no? Or cage? What do you guys think? Yay or nay? Yay or nay? You won't do it? <laughs> well, now I have to, don't I? Do it. What is this build? It's a uh, customer build for consulting order. Customer might get mad. Why would they get mad? I mean, if they need a 2.5 inch SSD, they're screwed either way. <laughs> they got to move this out of the way no matter what. What are the specs? We got a 7950X, uh, 64 gigs of DDR5, two terabyte NVMe, and an RX 7700 XT. Not a traditional gaming PC. It's a work powerhouse uh, for day trading. Po uh, posture check, I got you. Thank you. Um. I think we're going to leave it like that, man. I think that looks pretty good. <laughs> ah, let's do it. I want to see it. I want to see it in action. 
I want to see it in action. I like I like running experiments. I'm gonna see how this will look. Okay. Key is we actually have to flatten it. So we'll need a little bit of extra slack. That way it actually gets flattened. Like that. Boom. I don't know if I'm a big fan of how much I gotta press down on that. Could spread them out a little bit, but then it's not gonna look as good. Like that. This one keeps turning on me. There we go. Okay, there we go. That all lined up well. Was that worth it? <laughs> Was that worth it right there? It's bending a little. What do you guys think? Okay, now give me a yay or nay if it was worth it. I honestly don't think it looks that great. Mark says 100% worth it. Are you serious? I actually don't really agree with that. I don't know if it was worth it. Nah, nay, nay, nah, might broke. <laughs> it's definitely bending a little bit. Yay, yay. Okay, Mark is not serious. Okay, I was going to say, I, I don't think it looks that much better. <laughs> I actually think it kind of looks awkward. It don't look right. Wait, do we have enough people to think it doesn't look right? Because that's the kind of camp that I'm in right now. I, I'm at... I'm at I'm at the point where I'm strongly considering actually undoing that. Can see the bend. Looks forced. Looks du <clears throat> painful. Painful. Du oh my God. <sighs> we try. I mean, we tried. We tried. We tried. <laughs> How's it look now? <laughs> actually, now that I see it like this, I'm. <laughs> Hold on. I may actually be leaning the other way. <laughs> Fully serious. Okay. Under or over? I need a I need a full full participation by the chat. Cables, should they be over like they are now or they should or should they be under how they were? Over or under? What do you guys think? Over over over, under, over, under, over, under, over, over. Leave it. Under, under, under. Oh my god. Look at all these. Un oh my god. Look at all these late unders. Late sharp action on the under. Oh my god. Oh, we got some first time chatters coming out for the overs. YouTube chat is hammering the over. Oh wow. Hard over action over on YouTube. Painful the hundred bitty says, I think it will hold better. The Velcro is gonna let go. No, dude, that, that Velcro ain't going anywhere, man. I mean he's not he's day trading, painful. He's not throwing it down steps. Alright? He's not even using the PC at night. We're good. That Velcro ain't going anywhere. Painful says the poll's up. We got a Twitch poll going. Alright. Over under. Oh my god, 67% at the under? Okay, where are my overvoters at? Come on. I need to see some heavy action on this poll or or I'm going to be upset. Please, vote on the Twitch poll right now. Where are we going with this? Where are we going? Flip a coin? No, I mean, we got to vote here. Wow, that is... Okay, oh, I see some late action on the over. Now I'm officially voting for, I don't want to have to do that again. The poll is glitched. Yeah, it doesn't look right. It, it looks like it's moving kind of slow. It is starting to even out though. Poll not working. Do under Zach in all caps. Bruh, over. It's glitched. That don't look right. I feel like we should have more action on that, right? Please over. 
That doesn't even appear. Pull not working. Yeah, pain. Knowing painful, he probably rigged this up. He probably rigged it up for the over, or the under. I mean, ask your wife. Where, where are we voting over here? Over under. You're not listening. Oh my god. She's hell diving. I just need support on one thing. She's hell diving. The under wins with 56%. It's under, you gotta believe. Over and move on to the next component. Who brought the bots to the polls? All right, well, here's the thing. The under is at 56% and the over is at 44%. Ironically enough, my vote is actually worth 7% and I will vote the over. So we're going to leave it how it is. Congratulations, everybody. If you voted on the over, you are the winner of tonight's poll. We are going to stick with it um, due to my my uh, last minute 7%. Vote. Sorry. <laughs> Slightly rigged, they may say. Um, but I consider this as even as even gets. Alright, let's move on. Por favor. Please. I'll do anything to move on from that madness. Alright, let's install that back panel. If the Velcro strap goes while I'm trying to install this, <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Oh man, that would be too good. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Back panel? Go one in? Maybe. I don't remember how to install this one. Oh, just like that. All right, there we go. Boom. Painful the Fitty Bitty says 7% actually isn't enough for the under to win. Well, good, because I want the over to win. 7% <clears throat> wasn't enough to win? Wait, I saw 44%. Are you guys seeing a different number than me? Is it actually bugged? I saw 44% on the on the over. Therefore, 7% does get the job done. It was 40. Yeah, it was 44 guys. <laughs> Just do a re. Sh Should we do a recount? I think a recount might actually be in order here. Is that the? Should we open the polls back up? I think that's what we're going to have to do. I think I'm going to have to remove this back panel. And we're going to have to open the polls back up. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, the case closed. <clears throat> you got this? <laughs> I understand the math that you guys are trying to... Um, do in your head that the 7% doesn't <sighs> I hope you guys just understand where I got the 7% from are we good on that part at least okay I was saying that the 7% would go from the under to the over but I, I see the I see the controversy here I I, 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 I validate your controversy okay now who are we to say that the vote can go above 100% with your logic? It, we would be above 100% and that's impossible. So I would still kind of argue that my new poll, dude, don't, don't, don't do a new poll. It, it, whoever votes in the new poll, ban them because we are moving on. We're moving on. <clears throat> Please don't pull. <laughs> What's up, hardware? Welcome to the Fitted Bitty Committee, by the way. Super late. Okay, are we good to move on from this? <laughs> Start doing some GPU peels and we'll be done. We're moving our PCIe brackets. That way our GPU can actually go in. We don't need these. Dust covers. How frequently do you stream? Typically, at least every Thursday. Thursday is definitely the only remotely viable stream that I do for PC building or Thirsty Thursday streams. Um, sometimes I go through phases of trying to stream more. Um, 
I have been toying around with the idea of doing more just PC building streams throughout the week. Because, well, A, for our restock builds, <clears throat> everyone, I mean, you guys buy them as soon as they get restocked. So we could definitely use more help with just those builds. But I also want to do some other sort of PC building projects, not necessarily for like a long form YouTube video and not just for like consulting builds like this. Um, so there is a chance I stream a little bit more uh, PC builds, but we'll see. We will see. But Thursday's just the only more streams. Please stream more. Would you guys watch multiple PC building streams throughout the week? Would you guys actually do that? Or do you just think that you would do that? Is one not the, why is this not going in? What's going on here? Something to actually, actually watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. no trolling. Something doesn't feel right. I'm trying to see what's going on here. Something legitimately doesn't feel, oh, oh, okay, never mind. User error. It's always user error. <clears throat> yes, 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 if I had time. Well, do you have time? That's a very important part of this equation here. Why don't you stream three days a week? Uh, because, I mean, valid question. Um, I, I don't think I have it in me. Uh, is Zach going crazy? Is, is that really the poll? Hold on. Is Zach going? Oh, my God. I am losing my mind, aren't I? Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Um, yeah, I don't know how, if I have it in me, to be honest. You know, not to give excuses, you know, it's just, it's, uh, it's just a lot of mental uh, willpower um, and time, you know. I like working on other things at night. I like relaxing at night sometimes. Um, it's a lot of... It's not just about the three hour stream. It's also about organizing the parts and planning multiple builds. I mean, we're already managing a lot of builds, <laughs> uh, but managing more builds for just live stream purposes, you know, logistics, whatever we do with those PCs, that's just more builds to ship out, configure, benchmark, stress test. You know, it's more than just the three hour stream. Um, but I mean, I don't, I don't really have a perfect excuse. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Just don't, <laughs> just don't do it right now. Uh, Luke with the five Canadian super chat, five dollar Canadian super chat. Uh, hi Zach, remember me? I'm 13, trying to make a YouTube channel like you. Can you please shout me out here or make a short about it? No. Thank you for your five dollar super chat, uh, but no. I mean, there's your there's your chat there's your shout out, Luke. Um, but no, we don't do shout outs for money. If I accepted shout outs for money, you guys wouldn't be watching me. <laughs> Who would want to watch somebody that shouts out for money? I've shouted out two YouTubers, I think, this year. Uh, Brett from Yifty Tech, who's my neighbor, um, and. What's, what's the benchmarking guy's name? Oh, man, I forget. So it's with a Z. Zoo? What is it? Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. What's the benchmarking guy's name? I forget. I know you guys know this. Uh, Z, uh, Z, Z A something? Oh, my God. Does anybody know this? Zook? No, not Zook. Who's the benchmarking YouTuber? Where's the extensions? This is not a Z worms. Thank you. Thank you. My goodness. Yeah, Z worms. And those were just like very natural um, call outs. Those are not paid. Thank you. Um, yeah, Northern Lights with a $5 YouTube super chat. Thank you. It says, where is the extensions? No, we don't have any for this build. This is just a uh, pure performance day trading type of build um and actually we are done ladies and gentlemen i don't think there's anything else that i can really do here so yeah let's take a peek are we ready i think we're all done 
I think it's time to uh, turn this thing on. Make sure we get some fan spinning action. Take a look at it. And we'll be good to go. You guys ready? Can you benchmark it after? Not on the stream, but we will benchmark it before we ship it to the to the person. All right, here we go. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch Bada bing. Bada boom. Oh, my God. You can't see it. Hold on. We got to get some more lights. Oh, I guess you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. It looks better than the angle that I... There we go. Just brighten this up a little bit. Ah, that doesn't look good. There we go. How about that? That look good? That is as clean as clean gets right there. All black. <laughs> Pretty nice. I'm digging it. What chair? Oh, dude, I don't even know. I've had this chair for years. Bullies. B-O-U-L-I-E-S. That I don't even know if they're around anymore. <laughs> that was a that was a in the chair sponsorship accepting days. That was so long ago. The color scheme looks nice, very clean, very stealth. Yep. Boom. There we go. This is for a consulting customer. If you guys want us to build a PC for you, zttelp.com. Boom. Final parcelless run uh, rundown again. Ryzen 9 7950X. X670E MSI Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard. We got some Rip Jaws S5, 64 gigs of DDR5 in there. The RX 7700 XT. A MAG A750GL ATX 3.0 power supply. Fractal Design Pop Air. Crucial P3 Plus 2 terabyte NVMe Gen 4. The Thermal Right Peerless Assassin 120 cooler. And that is all she wrote. Boom. Hopefully this satisfies this day trader's needs. I got you covered. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We're going to after hours? We're going after hours now? 9.30? Two and a half hour build? That's actually pretty good. They day trade because they can't see the PC at night? Yeah, you can see yourself out. That PC is overkill for night trading. Oh, we didn't even turn it on. I forgot. No lights? No lights, no. No, he don't. <laughs> come, come on, man. Day traders don't need RGBs. Let's test this out. Let's just make sure. We're not going to... I don't have it hooked up to the monitor or anything. We're just going to see if the fans spin. Make sure we get some sort of action. <laughs> the PC's not dead. There we go. Oh, we do have a light. We got one little light on the ASRock GPU. Uh, and hopefully that's not an error light. <laughs> oh. Are all the fans spinning? CPU cooler. Yep, that's good. That's good. That's some debug lights. We'll deal with that. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. That is a debug light, actually. Uh, we have a CPU debug light. Who knows? We'll have to we'll have to put it put it up on the bench, but we shall see. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure we're good to go. Pitch black where I'm sitting. Boom! All spinning. RGB GPU is crazy. <laughs> you think I'll like it? Excessive lighting. Yeah. Got to restart the build. Yeah, I think we do. Boom, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. When will the giveaway winner be announced? We don't have an exact date yet, but it will be uh, in May. We, we do month-long giveaways. That way you have, a, you have enough time to earn points. Tune into the streams. Oh, dude, I got to turn that brightness down now. I look like a ghost. I really got to stop firing my stream managers. That way we can just have somebody else do it. Looks good. After hours? Yeah. I mean, after hours is always a typically a good idea. But you're not going to be able to see this build at all now. <laughs> is this good? All right. We can start after hours. You look like a ghost. What about now? How much? Hold on, let me let me walk over here and see this monitor. How much of the build can you guys actually see during after hours? Oh, that's good enough. Yeah, you can still see it. You can still see it. Hold on, let me go to the bathroom before we start. If you guys have questions, now would be the time to ask them. We're we're in after hours. PC building is done. It's only 9:30 at night. You know, we got a little bit of time to kill. Um, so if you guys want to chit chat, we'll, we can talk PC hardware. 
politics, whatever you want to talk about. We got you. Uh, but I, I do got to go pee. I'll be right back. Uh, before we uh, take some questions here, my wife just let me know that Muffin Man, I don't know if you're, are you still here, Muffin Man? <laughs> Muffin Man asked the question, and I just so happened to give the response, that's a really good question, I'll come right back to it. Needless to say, that didn't ever happen. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, your question was, is it worth upgrading from a Wraith stock cooler on a 5600X to an AIO or a better air cooler. ADHD brain? Mm, could be. Probably not. I think it's just, we got, we got a lot going on here, but if, if you could see all these screens here, all these notifications, text or uh, chat message, it, it's a lot to handle. We got PC build over here, $660 CPU. Get a little, get a little caught up sometimes, you know? Zach, I tried to remind you. Sorry. Thank you for the attempt. Um, yeah, it is good um, because there is performance left on the table with CPUs like the 5600X if you have better cooling. And that's because of overclocking or even just uh, PBO. So Precision Boost Overclo Overdrive is like a one-click overclocking um, where if you have the cooling capability... It'll clock up those speeds a little bit uh, and thus give you more performance. You do not want to enable PBO on the stock cooler. It, it will get too hot and probably thermal throttle, depending on the setup. So if you do, if you are trying to get more performance out of your 5600X, and remember, this is never like a big, huge jump. This is just a little bit, a little bit of increased FPS there. Um, then yeah, a, a cooler can actually give you more performance in that case. But you definitely do not have to go down that route if you don't want to. But it's a good question. It all depends on what you want to get out of it. But, yeah, there's a little bit of performance left from just using the stock cooler. Uh, you're in you're in a gun with the Twitch Prime sub coming out for six months. Says so Zach, I sent like 20 carrier pigeons with my PC part picker list three months ago. Please look outside. And if you have any birds, have the list. I was knocking on... Oh, my God. Wow. I am very sorry. Literally this morning... I was knocking on my front window because there were like three different carrier pigeons 
running or flying around my front porch. And I thought at the time that they were going to like try to build a nest in my front porch, like, like where the light hangs or something. Cause they were just like going back and forth. And I'm like, Oh my God, they're, they're bringing twigs here right now. Like this is the prime spot for a new bird's nest. They were just carrier pigeons with the PC part picker list. My bad. Yeah, my bad. I did not get the message. I shooed them out of here. Uh, Vinny Boy with the Fitty Biddies, and that's a super late Fitty Biddy Committee entry. Says Biddy, uh, Biddy for the night trading buy-in. Nice. <laughs> Should we all start night trading? I think that might be the thing to do. It's too dark. It's because it's Z. This is called Thirsty Thursday After Hours, bud. All right, you're gonna have to get with the program. Okay, we we have lights, just so you know. We we do have a high quality production here. But the PC build is done, and now we go to after hours. So relax. It's the John Cena build. You can't see it. <clears throat> Should I turn the lights back on? I'm going to turn them all off. I think we need a pure performance build geared towards first-person shooter games. Um, That's not as dumb as it sounds right away. You know, if you're playing like high... Um, yeah, it's actually not a, it's not a terrible idea, actually. I kind of like it. Um, cause I guess your first thought would be like, oh, there's not big, a much, there's not a big difference between a pure performance gaming PC and a pure performance first person shooter gaming PC, but there could be like, if you're on an extremely tight budget and you are trying to maximize as much FPS as possible for like Counter-Strike and Valorant, you know, in that case, you could make an argument to go just a little bit of CPU top heavy because those types of games will typically rely more on the CPU. I wouldn't go overboard, uh, but you could make a you could make a case for that. It's not a terrible idea. I could see that being effect like uh, once you get to a certain amount of budget, then it doesn't really make a difference. But if you're like on a tight like four or five four or five hundred dollar budget and you want to get as much FPS per as possible out of eSport related games that are more CPU bound. That'd be interesting. That's not type of content that you typically see. What's a good CPU for Modern Warfare 2? What, what? Modern Warfare 2 is not a game that <clears throat> has any like specific CPU requirements. Like get the best CPU for a gaming PC in general. And you can't answer that unless if you know your budget <laughs> and what GPU you may already have. Hey, Zach, I currently have a B450. As someone who dap... Oh, wow. That, that, that chat went a little too quick there. Hold on. Oh, wrong mouse. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. I got you. Uh, who dabbles with video editing and audio mixing. Should I switch my platform in my next upgrade to make use of Gen 4 drives? Yeah. Yes, I would. Yes. Good thinking. Um, and absolutely. Because... I, I have no idea how much you notice effects of a better PC with audio mixing. I'm sure there is. I would guess CPU processing power is probably the main thing, but I, I really don't know. Uh, but for video editing, yeah, you can feel every single little increment increase of SSD speed. Like editing on the timeline, for sure. You can feel every little ounce of improvement. Um, so for your next... I wouldn't say it's like 100% required right this very second, but... For your next upgrade, yeah, make sure you're on a platform that can at least do PCIe Gen 4 NVMEs. And if video editing is like your real job and you make money from it and you're okay investing real money into it, then that is the one case where uh, the more expensive Gen 5 SSDs are worth it, in my opinion. For just a pure gaming PC, I don't ever recommend Gen 5. Not yet. Once those prices go down, it'll make sense, but not right now. Any tricks to keep your PCs dust-free? <clears throat> no tricks that you probably haven't heard of before. You know, make sure you have a good positive airflow setup. You know, a healthy balance of intake to exhaust. Um, you can, you, if you know what you're doing, you can look at where the dust is sitting and determine if you need to make an adjustment with the PC. Um, but, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Nothing more than that. You know, clean your dust filters more often if you if you need to <clears throat> uh raise it up off the ground you know 
Stuff like that. <clears throat> Are you going to rate any PC part picker list? Yeah, I'll rate a few. I'll ra If somebody can convince, give me a good reason to rate it, I'll rate it. Yeah. I'm about to build my first... Oh, oh my god. I'm about to build my first PC. When I buy all the parts, do you have any tips on what I should do? I would watch enough YouTube videos of step-by-step -step tutorials that there isn't one specific part in the PC building process that you're scared about. Like, not just down to, like, how to install a graphics card. Like, look up somebody that installed your exact CPU cooler. You know? Watch enough videos that you're not worried about anything. <clears throat> If you can, if you get to the point where you've watched enough videos, like you've watched at least five times, not my videos, my videos aren't step-by-step -step PC building tutorials. I'm talking about the videos that show you exactly every single little step of lining up that CPU pin, you know, unlatch or opening up the latch to your CPU, closing down the latch and then the, the plastic part pops off. Like every single little step. If you watch at least five of those videos, or however long it takes you, then you should be good. The only thing that I think is actually surprising when you build your first PC, I think there's two main things, is how much how difficult cable management is. You probably don't expect it because the videos you're probably watching are people that are actually good at cable managing. It's not like it's actually difficult. It's just, I see a lot of people say, that they were surprised at how much extra effort it took to make it look cable managed. Um, and then the second thing is just <laughs> that pressure that you have to push down on that motherboard retention bracket is actually insane, especially with AM5. <laughs> the amount of pressure that you have to push down to lock that retention pin on the motherboard to keep that CPU in place is wild. It, it, it really does feel like you're breaking the CPU. Yeah. Those are usually the only two biggest surprises, I would say, if you do enough research. I broke RAM once by pushing too hard. I did that too, actually. Now, granted, it was like a decade-old OEM build that was probably, like, actually rotting. Uh, but I, I have done that too. <laughs> Recently. Last year. Last year I did that. I might be building a PC for the first time in the next two months for a friend. Let's hope he doesn't buy a pre-built. If he buys a pre-built, that's fine, man. That's fine. Support that. If that's what they want to do, let them do it. At the end of the day, you're getting a friend that's jumping onto PC gaming. You know. If you're looking for a friend into the PC building hobby, then yeah, that would be a letdown. But if the priority is you guys just want to play PC games together, let them buy a pre-built. <clears throat> I just sold my RTX 4060 and Ryzen 5 5500 for a thousand bucks. I hope you're talking about the whole build, not just those parts. If you're talking about just the parts, then you rip somebody off. Uh, Reckon ha re re Havoc with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. I like the name. Are Wi Fi motherboards good? Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. They're not like special. It's just do they have Wi Fi or do they not? When I deal with consulting builds, I will almost always make sure that I'm using a motherboard that has Wi-Fi. Um, most of the higher end, most of the mid-range to higher end motherboards do have Wi-Fi built in. Um, but when you're in that budget range, it really depends because you could either buy a $10 to $15 dongle or a $10 to $15 more expensive motherboard. You know, so most of the time it makes sense to get Wi-Fi. If you are penny pitching, pit, pit, pinching um and you know you're gonna hook up via ethernet which i do recommend doing then you don't need it then you can save a little bit of money there but for my consulting builds i i always try to do it i always try to do it and that's just assuming you know if somebody's paying me to tell them what parts to use they're probably not like the most tech savvy person and a lot of people don't understand that desktop computers it's not a guarantee that it has built-in wi-fi like your phone your tablet your laptop casual people don't know that so i just 
I usually include it. <clears throat> uh, e Raven, Erevin, with the fit of it, he says, "Did the giveaway happen?" Uh, no, the giveaway is still live, right there. Um, this is a month-long giveaway. Here, I'll let you screenshot this. That has all the information you need. Yeah, it's a month-long giveaway. That way, you guys have the the longer you watch on the streams, the more points you get. Um, so we run them for like a month. That way, you guys have a, ample time to uh, um, to get points and have a chance at winning the giveaway. Thank you for the fifty bits, though. All right, uh, I wanted to check. I think I missed a, a super chat at one point. Sorry. Yeah, uh, Rummy with the $2 super chat. Very sorry, I missed that. Oh, multiple $2 super chats. Sorry. What's a good AMD GPU to pair with a Ryzen 9 5950X? I can't answer that without a budget, man. But you can pretty much get whatever GPU you want. <laughs> get whatever the best GPU is for your price range. That's all there is to it. If you have $400 to spend, you, you compare the 7700X and the... Um, the 4060 Ti, you know, if you have $500 to spend, then you compare the 7800 XT and the 4070, you know, get, get whatever is, is best for your price range. I have an important question. We'll see about this. I just got an office PC and I was wondering how I could upgrade it into a gaming PC. I have like literally 30 videos at least on how to do that on the YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> and all of those videos explain how to do it, even if you don't have the exact Office PC that I have. First stream, thanks for answering the cooler question. I got you, Muffin Man. Oh, oh yeah. Actually, yeah, my wife just reminded me that she's got you. <laughs> that, that would not have happened if it wasn't for her. <laughs> as soon as I went up for the bathroom, she explained that to me, that I forgot about it. What are your thoughts on the Sunny V2 and Linus video? I have no idea which one I want. Should I know that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, Sunny V2 is the guy that does those types of videos. Oh, what do you say about Linus? The story of Linus Tech Lips? Well, I don't know. I don't know what he said. Should I know what he said? I don't watch those type of videos, man. It was like an hour long. Is your wife a PC builder too? Dude, we just built a PC together. Look. Uh, two streams ago. Three streams ago. Look. Building a gaming PC with my wife. We just built this. That's the PC that she's hell diving. Are you still hell diving? Oh my god, she is still hell diving. What's that CPU temp app? Where are we at? What? Seven, seventy. <laughs> Painful. I am never undervolting that CPU. She is hell diving right now, and the CPU is at seventy degrees. We are good to go. <laughs> we are definitely good. No, no need for that at all. Does your 7900 XTX have coil wine? Um, yeah, it does. I don't know. I don't often push it far enough to get to it. So I, I forget about it. Um, if I go fully uncapped with, uh, it, 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 if there's a game that can actually push it to like 95%, I hear it, but it's, it's thankfully it's not a bad one. It's pretty common, I would say, but I mean, I almost always game with an FPS cap. You know, I don't I don't want my my GPU push into 100% to get 500 frames per second. You know, I would rather just cap it at the the 144 or 165 of my my uh my monitor. So I I rarely hear it. Yeah, very rarely. 
It's a controversial video that Linus treats his female staff bad and his team is unprofessional. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about that. I mean, I, I know about the, the drama that they went through last year with the female staff member, but that video was posted three years ago, so I have no idea what that's about. I might start flipping PCs. You should. It's fun. It is fun. If I if 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 gaming PCs weren't popular when I was in when I was in school, like I was building PCs when I was in school, not like this. Like I was like taking my old like super budget PC and unbuilding it and rebuilding it over and over again, um, and occasionally upgrading like one component every three months when I was in high school. But if PC building was popular when I was in high school, oh my God, I wouldn't have worked a job. That would that would have been my exclusive income generation when I was a kid. I, I am very kind of envious, but just happy for the kids these days that can just flip gaming PCs in school for money. Like that is such a cool, such a cool way to make money. Do you watch Z Worms Gaming or watch his benchmarks? Yeah, we were just talking about him. Uh, I made a video about Z Worms. <laughs> yeah, it's not old. It's like maybe two weeks old or so. Yeah, type in Z Worms on my channel. You'll find it. I didn't know who he was before this video. <laughs> who the F is Z Worms three weeks ago? <laughs> Yeah, people were commenting about Z Worms, and I didn't know who he was, so I just made a quick short, um, watch out, watch out, watch out. like just like quickly evaluating like what he does with GPUs and whatnot. Yeah, I really like his content; it's cool. Yeah, he 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 has the top comment in that video, I think. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, two point eight thousand likes on his comment. Yeah, he was he was happy with it. Yeah, I never heard of him until that. <clears throat> that is the definition of a natural <laughs> shout out. Not the five Canadian dollar YouTube super chat <laughs> shout outs. <clears throat> Teardrop with 100 biddies. Zach, my 5800X runs at 183 degrees Fahrenheit. Usually while gaming with a high airflow case and a 360 AIO. Am I doing something wrong? Don't ever give me the Fahrenheit degrees of a CPU ever again. 183 Fahrenheit to Celsius. 83 degrees Celsius. Okay. My 5800X runs at 83 degrees Celsius. While gaming in a high airflow case and a 360 AIO, am I doing something wrong? Um, while gaming, probably. Yeah, there might be something out of tweet, out of out of tune there. Maybe. Um, if you said it was 83 degrees while stress testing, then that's good. You know, if that CPU utilization is at 100%, 83 degrees is perfectly fine. But if it's 83 while just gaming, where your CPU is most likely not even anywhere close to 100 degrees. Then yeah, I, I I would I would go investigative mode. You know, check your thermal paste application, check your fan curves, make sure that pump is working and actually pumping, you know. Yeah, I, I would I would do some investigation. Painful with the fit of it, he says <clears throat> fifty percent of PC cases are just sold out right now for me in Canada, especially ITX. I ended up going with like six case choices for the commission I'm working on now. Oh wow. Yeah, we don't have that in the States at all right now. Teardrop says it's at 50%. Yeah, if you're at 50% with a 360 AIO at 83 degrees, you definitely have an issue. Yeah. Not like a CPU is going to explode issue. Well, I should probably walk that statement back, actually. I would check it out. I would check it out. Painful with the Fitbit says, if the AIO isn't plugged into an AIO header, the pump won't be set right by default. Yeah, yeah, check all of that. Go full investigative mode. Yeah, for sure. Where do you live? I'm in Pittsburgh right now.
I don't want my PC exploding. I mean, it's not going to explode, but I was just joking because if you do go up to 100%, it will get hot enough to, to thermal throttle. But yeah, if you're at 83 degrees at 50%, if you go up to 100 degrees, it'll definitely get hot enough. 90, 95, 100 degrees where it'll thermal throttle. Clutch Computers, what's up, man? Hey, Zach, how's it going? It's good, man. We uh, we built this PC. This is for a consulting customer. 7950X base system. Went pretty well. We're in our Thirsty Thursday after hours where we turn the lights off and just do a little Q&A before we and wrap up the stream. The main show is over, unfortunately, but we're just kind of chilling here. Um, I do feel my voice kind of going here, so this is usually the time where we uh, <laughs> start deucing out of here. <laughs> Ultra Sapien with the tier one sub. Thank you very much. <clears throat> you, uh, what, oh, what inspired you to start building PCs? We actually have a video coming on the ZTT Extras channel, um, just because I've explained it so many times. But uh, my mom and dad ran a PC building and PC consulting shop out of the basement of our house. So I built my first PC when I was five years old with them. And I, I was just surrounded by PC building and consulting my whole life. Um, so this is like the, this is like the, I mean, this was in the nineties. So this was during, this was pre-internet and during early stages of internet. Um, so oh yeah, I've just always been around it. Kind of crass with the 100 bit. He says, yo, I have a Ryzen 5 5600G and a new, and I need a new GPU for $450 or less. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm thinking about the 7700 XT. Is that a good deal? <clears throat> you can get a 7700 XT for 400. 450 is a little high, uh, depending on what model you're looking at. I would look at like the 420 to 430 models. That's, that's a better price for a 7700 XT. Um, but your 5600G will probably bottleneck it. I would guess, right? Somebody can fact check that. Um, you know, less of an issue if you're actually gaming in 1440p high to ultra, but the 5600G isn't a great pairing. It's not the end of the world pairing, but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's a great pairing for a 7700 XT. What CPU should I get for a 5600 XT? One of the big three value budget CPUs right now. Depending on how much you want to spend, I would go 3,600. Uh, if you want to go ultra budget, 60 to 70 bucks. 5,500. If you want to get a brand new, 80 to 90 dollar CPU, uh, or just go up to 5,600. That way you're ready for a GPU upgrade in the future. One of those three you just can't go wrong right now. What games do you play? <clears throat> I don't have any consistent games. I go through phases. I also go through phases of like not gaming at all, which is the biggest phase of them all. Um, right now, I'm in a big racing phase. So I'm playing like Need for Speed, Unbound, and Forza. Forza. Forza Motorsport. Uh, but that, that's just currently. I don't have any like big, big games. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm also playing Lego Fortnite with my four-year-old. He loves it. He is very excited he, uh, to play Fort Lego Fortnite again tomorrow. I actually have two controllers here. This was a sponsored controller that Hex Gaming sent over. It's uh, like fully customizable. I could customize the color scheme and whatnot, back, pad back paddles and whatnot. Um, this is what I use. And then this is what my four-year-old uses. That way I can tell him the buttons like blue button, red button, green button, etc. But he's been playing Lego Fortnite on here, and we've been having a lot of fun. The the creative Before mode on Lego Fortnite. I started Fortnite is really watching good. you. Ooh. I had your exact build, but dark mode and the H9 flow. Great minds think alike. Also, hype trains axed one thumbs up. We got another hype train going. I can't see it. Is it? I don't see it. The the UI is very weird. Yeah, I don't see it. Maybe. <clears throat> Thank you for the 350 biddies, though, Vinny. Much appreciated. Wrecking Havoc with another 100 biddies and no message. Uh, Qualsack with the 50 biddies. Welcome back, Qualsack, by the way. Uh, my PC handles games just fine. 
but while doing a time spy benchmark the cpu test bottoms out at 2 fps temps are good have a 360 aio what could be doing what could be going wrong um well what cpu do you have because time spy can it time spy is demanding like times oh a train it is a train oh yeah it is a train nice let's go second hype train of the night yeah again you guys have been going absolutely crazy on the support thank you very much <laughs> um yeah what cpu do you have like time spy can be jittery it's not a guarantee that your time spy is gonna even with proper cooling it's gonna run perfectly fine uh time spy can get tough pay for the 100 biddies thank you uh hi cube with the twitch prime sub thank you as well yeah the twitch prime subs that that's what fuels the fuels the hype trains for sure ultra sapien with the tier one sub thank you watch out, watch out, watch out. reckon havoc with another bit of biddies much appreciated 7700x is my cpu yeah um what score do you get what's your build score yeah uh, that's a tough one there might be something wrong there might uh, that's that's hard to troubleshoot over a live stream <laughs> yeah that's a tough one because time spy does um dip down in low fps but not with a 7700x do you like sports yeah i love sports i am a humongous uh delusional delusionally optimistic uh steelers fan um, I have 100% like actual no doubt that the Steelers are going to win the Super Bowl, no matter if we use Russell Wilson um, or Justin Fields. <laughs> uh, also, huge UFC fan. UFC 300 this weekend. Oh my god, this is like the biggest fight card in the history of the UFC about to happen in 48 hours from right now. Very excited about that. Uh, and then NBA playoffs is about to start which I'm also really excited for right around this time in April is when I start uh, watching NBA. I don't really watch regular watch season out, basketball. Watch out, watch out, watch the playoff out. basketball tune in to big time. UFC 299 is better. No, it's not. I mean, UFC 299 was good, but not UFC 300. <laughs> UFC 300 is like all watch mega out, fights. Watch out, watch out, watch out. The whole card is really, really impressive. Wrecking Havoc, just keeping that hype train alive with another Fitty Bitties. Thank you. Pushing us. Pushing the hype train. Let's go. Painful with the Fitty Bitties says, Time Spy 7700X CPU shouldn't go below 30. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Boxing versus UFC. I don't watch boxing. The only... Oh, I've watched a few. I've watched some of the mega fights of boxing. Um, like the Canelo Triple G fights. I, I do like the celeb fights. Um, not just the Jake Pauls, but like the athlete fights and whatnot. Um, Tyson Fury fights, you know. I watch some boxing, but I, I don't I don't really follow up. I have been boxing though. I've been doing boxing workouts. That's fun. Naganu versus Joshua. Yeah, I don't I don't even know who Joshua is. All I know is that Naganu's latest knockout. <laughs> oh my god. I never thought somebody like Naganu could get knocked out that that uh impactfully. Oh my goodness. He had the light shut out on him. Is he fighting again soon after that? I hope not. Oh my god. Mike Tyson's gonna kill Jake Paul. Yeah, that like that one I'll definitely watch. That 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 is pure entertainment value. Yeah, that should be uh that should be very interesting. I actually don't. I I actually can't predict how that's gonna look because you see like Mike Tyson's training videos, and he's like he looks dialed in, but when you see him like walk around, it's like he doesn't look healthy at all. <laughs> He looks very old and broken down. So I don't know like which one's true. Yeah, I, I don't know what type of Mike Tyson we're gonna see. Kinda crazy with 100 bit. He says, 
Zach, I think I'm still gonna buy a 7700 XT, then upgrade my CPU next because for 14 I make good money. Yeah, that's perfect. That's a that's a perfectly fine plan. Yeah, you you'll have the 5600G and 7700 XT for a while. Like I said, it's not like the end of the world type of combination. But when you are at that combination, then yeah, your next upgrade should definitely be the CPU, for sure. Do you think upgrading from a 3060 Ti to a 4070 Super is worth it? That's a good question. That's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. I would say that's like the minimum... Um, level 2 hype train, let's go. Thank you. I would say that's like the minimum level. Because I always say like, don't ever do the incremental upgrades. Always make it a big jump. And... That, that's a, that's as minimum as I as I would get yeah um, and I do the thing the reason why I said yes is because that is the difference from a solid 1080p gaming experience to a solid 1440p gaming experience so yeah if, if you're upgrading your resolution sure and and yes yeah, 3060 ti yes can play some games in 1440p I get it uh, but for the most part 3060 ti is still a 1080p GPU 4070 Super is a 1440p GPU, so yeah, I would say that would be worth it. <clears throat> Night with the Fitted Bitties. Welcome to the Fitted Bitty Committee. <laughs> I don't think you've you've been in here tonight. Is 650 watts enough for a 4070 Super? Yeah, as long as it's a good model. Yeah, 4070 Super get a tier A or tier B. Go to the PSU tier list. Remember, if you don't know that, you can just go to zttbuildhelp.com. Boom. This has got a couple of resources here, totally free, of uh, places that can help you build. Just click on the PSU tier list. This will tell you how to use the tier list. Um, here I say mid-range gaming PCs use tier B or tier A. High-end PCs use tier A. That, that's like a pretty standard practice here. Um, and then look on your tier list and just find the model name that you have and just make sure it's either tier A or tier B with the 4070 Super and you'll be fine. Pretty standard practice. It's at zttbuildhelp.com. Do you think the 5090 is going to live up to its hype? I don't think anybody's hyped for the 5090. Who actually cares? <laughs> the people I know don't care <laughs> there's not anybody in my life who is hyped for the 5090 would you build your own 750 dollar pure performance build if you had that price ZTT, recent videos, oops, maybe we'll scroll down, um, I know we gotta go really far back here, but, oh, let's go to 13 days ago, $750 pure performance build, yes, this is an amazing build, man, hold on, I'm trying to find the parts list, boom, yes, if I had 750 if you had 750, this is exactly what I would do right here. With with with, I don't think you'll beat this combination for the price. To be honest, yes, this is exactly what I would do for 750 dollars. For sure. <clears throat> I have a 6650 XT and a Ryzen 5 5600. What should I upgrade first? Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a real tough one. Oh, wow. I don't even have an answer yet. Ryzen 5 5600 and a 6650 XT. I mean, you're just solidly in 1080p gaming. You know, your next GPU upgrade should get you to 1440p in my opinion. I mean, they, they, they both need upgraded. If, if 
your your next upgrade should be both. That that's not a good one or the other one, because no matter which one you do, after you do it, the other one needs upgraded as well. So I would recommend probably doing a a rebuild. Sell that PC. I mean, not, not not that you need to. Like you have a good PC. You have a really good 1080p PC. I would just say your next upgrade should be both. You won't be able to like fully utilize one without the other. You know, you have a you have a what I would consider a perfectly balanced CPU and GPU. Don't unbalance it by only upgrading one part. <laughs> your next upgrade should be another perfectly balanced CPU and GPU. Is a 1700 XT a good GPU to pair with a 5600 X? Um, yes. Yeah, it's fine. If you're playing in 1440p, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. I definitely won't go any higher. Any tips on growing a YouTube channel? Not really. Concentrate on YouTube shorts. I mean, it all depends on what you're trying to do. Like if you're trying to grow like as a business, like because you want it to become a business. Um, I would concentrate on YouTube shorts. It's much easier to get discovered via YouTube shorts than long form videos by far. Way easier. You still have to make good content though. Bad content will still not go viral on any platform but good content has a way higher chance of getting discovered via shorts and tiktoks right now <clears throat> i like your reddit shorts nice uh i have one coming out tomorrow i think let me check yeah yeah oh yeah i got a good one coming out tomorrow tomorrow morning at uh like 8 a.m or so I'll, I'll post one or 8 30 yeah, I found another good Reddit post. Did they make any more? Oh, and then I did another Reddit one today. That won't be out till next week. That one's not that great though. The one the one coming out tomorrow is good. Yeah, I, I really like the one tomorrow. What is a Reddit short? He's talking about like a YouTube short slash TikTok about something I found on Reddit. I find a lot of good content off of the PCMR subreddit. Uh, just good stories, good things to react to, good questions, you know. The, uh, the one coming out tomorrow is my 40th Reddit video. Because <laughs> we, we number all of the different types of videos that come out. That's Reddit 40 coming out tomorrow. Um, for news, like tech news, we're at like the 270 range. Created 270 TikToks and YouTube shorts about news. Uh, oh, wow. Ironically, comment responses is also at 270. And his name is Sponsors. Jesse. Sponsor, we're in the 30s. We got Sponsor 20. Oh, this is Sponsor 27. I just showed this. <laughs> this controller for Hex Gaming is sponsor the next sponsored video. Sponsor 27. Just so you guys know, we're not going too heavy sponsorship over here. We're at like one sponsor video for every like 20 normal videos. Green Cyan with the Twitch Prime sub come back for two months says, yo, thank you very much for the reset. Painful the Fitted Bitty says, I am hyped for Battle Mage. Yeah, that is the only thing that like I'm actually hyped for. For sure. I really want to see Battle Mage succeed. Yep. I want to see them crack 1% market share. And I think it would be a huge win if they could get up to 3%. Like, that would be a huge win. I'm sure they would consider that a huge win as well. If a year after Battle Mage launches, Intel's at 3% of dedicated GPU market share, that'd be cool. That'd be legit. That would be progress. Ideally, it's 3% from NVIDIA, not 3% from AMD. But we'll see. Wrecking Havoc with another 75 biddies. Thank you. Much appreciated. Your life is perfect, I think, at least. If you could change one thing, what would it be? You only see the social media tech building side of my life. Occasionally, if you follow me on IG stories, 
If you guys don't know, I post um, behind the scenes of my life on IG stories. Pictures of like the gym, the sauna, some RTX 4070s that arrived, shooting my kids in the face with a water gun, upgrading the streaming PC that you're watching right now, working at 6 a.m. with a cup of coffee, boxing workout. I do post that type of stuff on IG stories, but nowhere else. Uh, but don't ever judge somebody's life based off what you see on social media. <laughs> Definitely not. I am happy with my life. Uh, th that part is true, yes. Um, but it is by far from perfect, and you should never trust... <laughs> Never trust the the life that somebody portrays on the internet, for sure. Everybody has problems. For sure. With a water gun, bro, there's still snow here. Dude, blame blame kolaches and coffee, and my wife, for that. For sure. We we have one day. One day at like 60 degrees. And I mean the, my kids have been asking to shoot water guns for the last three months. Last three months, every time we go outside, can we get the water toys out? I'm like, no. No water toys until summer. Because I know if I allow the water toys, they're just going to spray me. And then I'm going to be cold dad. Cold and wet dab. It hits 60 degrees one day. And my wife is like, yeah, yeah, sure. Get the water toys out. So now the water toys are out every single time we go outside now. But lately, I have been shooting them in the face with the water gun, so... <laughs> I at least get payback, but yeah. We're back to wet, cold dad in 45 to 50 degree weather. Reckon Havoc with the tier one sub, or tier one gifted sub. Thank you, Reckon. Much appreciated. Reckon's just slowly drip feeding us. I appreciate that. <clears throat> 85 in Texas tomorrow. Sounds good. Coldest dad move. I, I was explaining it, that to my wife just yesterday when we were shooting with the water guns. I have a severe unfair advantage when we water gun fight because the my four and two year old like they're running around like just thinking that they're spraying me but like they're, I mean they're missing left and right I mean I could literally dodge and tuck and roll and not get hit from their slow like super slow reaction shots and piss poor aim but me every single shot's a headshot like I, I don't like I literally don't miss when I'm shooting them with the water gun so these poor kids, they think that like we're like actually in like a competitive water gun match, and I mean their, I mean their hair is just soaked. <laughs> it's game over. I'm shooting them in the eye. I mean they can't they can't see where they're going, and then they're like just shooting like this, and they're like trying to wait. I don't miss. Yep, I don't miss. Zach the sniper. Yeah, I mean we're talking about one-handed snipes. You got the aimbot. Yeah, for sure. And this is in 50 degree w weather with snow going uphill both ways, for sure. <clears throat> Buddy is IRL Valorant. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm doing some peaks around the tree every now and then. <laughs> All right, I need one more question and I'm going to wrap this up because I feel my voice going um, and we got to... I gotta film, I gotta film a video tomorrow, a YouTube video tomorrow. All right, who's got one good question for me? One more good one. One more good one, and then we're gonna get going. Thank you guys very much for the support tonight's live stream. Uh, if you guys are late, then here's what the PC build actually looks like. Oh my god, we oh oh oh, never mind. We are definitely not doing that. Oh my god, my eyes are not ready for that. That was a big mistake. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Yuka with the best question of the day says, are you gangster? Are you like, there's all these people asking real questions and you're going to waste the one, the very last question on, am I gangster? Really? Shame on you. That that's, that's extremely selfish. That's, that's the most selfish thing I've seen all stream. Actually, it's not the people that think I should give them the PC that, that tops that but <laughs> I 
Zach, how do you think the market pricing will be affected by the Battle Mage lineup? I do not think it'll be affected. No, I don't think... I mean, I don't think like the A750 and A770 actually changed the market pricing, did it? I don't think so. Like, it's not like Nvidia saw the the pricing and was like, "Oh, we gotta lower, we gotta drop the price of our RTX 3060." I don't think that happened, did it? I don't, I don't think that it'll be too affected. The people that are still buying Battle Mage are still like very enthusiast one percenters. <laughs> they literally have a one percent market share. I, I don't think that it's really going to affect it. All right, last question. What does your wife do for work? Um, well, she is in the Air Force Reserve still. We were both in the in the Air Force. Um, but I got completely out, and she went into the Air Force Reserves. So she works one weekend a month, the typical reserve, uh, and then occasional couple uh, flights, projects, whatever, here and there. Uh, like, she's actually leaving very soon, and I'm going to be home with both boys. Oh, my God. I forgot. Um uh, but during the day or during the week and whatnot, she just works for ZTT or with ZTT. Yeah, she'll edit. She'll edit videos. She edits the uh, some of the shorts, the Flippin' Friday video uh, series. She edits that. She does a lot of the website stuff. Um, every every new thing that you've seen on the website, like it's like ZTT build help. <laughs> I mean, she did all of those. Like I'll give her the information, um, but she does all of that. The ebook, um, she did all of that. Like I literally wrote this ebook in Notion with all text, and then it comes out looking like a beautiful thirty-seven page um, uh, PDF like this, with all sorts of pictures and diagrams and themes and layouts and whatnot like she does all of that that's what she does yeah okay what's the video tomorrow um sneak peek because you guys are still here what's the sneak peek on tomorrow's video what is tomorrow's video oh we oh we have such a good one tomorrow oh i'm so happy so happy about tomorrow's video very very good value all right turn the music off it's time to go um the sneak peek for tomorrow's long form youtube video is we've been doing a bunch of price to performance builds as you guys know our price to performance videos have been exploding way <laughs> they're getting way more views than my normal than my normal uh build guide videos so tomorrow please be the 7900 uh gre no that's next week <laughs> the gre is in, in next week's video which i'm really excited about as well um tomorrow's video is two builds, I'm not gonna say the price point, but two builds at the same exact price point, we got a performance build and we got an aesthetic build. So you can see head to head the difference of the parts list of a pure performance all black build like this versus a little aesthetic build that I would consider my preference. We benchmark them head to head, you can see the exact differences, the exact areas of where you can spend more money and where the extra money goes super valuable information it's it's going to be called something like two ways to build a uh whatever the price point is I, i'm really excited about it um and that's got to be money yeah it, it, it's it's going to be good I, I think it's super valuable information i like that we're at the point now where we can build two pcs um for one video that's that that was a dream back in the day to even build like one PC like for a video. Like um but yeah this, this is gonna be really good uh, painful the fitty bitties to wrap things up said i set my pc budget then add aesthetic parts on top well, that's how a sensible person does it but some people work <laughs> the opposite direction of that uh all right guys thank you guys very much for the big time support thank you very much for the big time viewership uh and even if you just sat there the whole time and watched those ads we really appreciate it because that's the whole thing that funds uh the giveaways that we run the stream it makes it all worth it so thank you guys very much for that i really appreciate it thank you for the very good questions uh and i will see you guys um sometime soon sometime soon maybe we'll do another build before next thursday but yeah have a good night have a good weekend guys uh if you haven't already please join the ztt discord server exclamation point discord i'll see you guys over there later <laughs>